Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Starting Mangekyo, Leaving Konoha with Master Madara. Chapter 81. Canopy Bridge, Underground Base. In the dim stone room, a man slowly opened his eyes. Red and white eyes, eerie and eerie. He noticed the movement at the door, and a look of eagerness flashed across Gujing Wubo's face, but he quickly hid it. A few seconds later, Shen Yu pushed in the door and sat across from him. Madara glanced at him and said calmly, is the plan completed? Shen Yu picked up the kettle on the table and drank a few sips, then wiped his mouth and looked at Madara calmly. It's done, everything is going as I expected. Madara's pupils trembled slightly, as if there was an electric current running from the tailbone to the Tianling cap, making his mind feel hot and unable to calm down for a long time. The young man's expression didn't look like he was lying. He knew Shen Yu very well. Although he usually had a slightly naughty personality and liked to play around, he never joked about big matters. So, you really defeated Hashirama. He stared into Shen Yu's eyes without blinking, leaning forward, his hands deeply embedded in the handguards of the stone chair. And unaware of it, Shen Yu took a deep breath and nodded solemnly, yes. Actually, my victory is not very honorable. After all, he is already in his twilight years. He sighed softly and said without hesitation, according to the information I got, Senju Hashirama should have. Fault. Madara leaned silently on the stone chair, staring at the ceiling, her eyes wandering, and fell into a long silence. When he heard the news of Hashirama's death, he thought he would accept the result calmly. After all, this result was also within his expectation. He is very confident in the disciples he has personally trained, just as he is confident in his own strength. But somehow, after personally confirming the news, the corners of his eyes twitched slightly, and his heart suddenly became empty. In my mind, the image of that boy from my childhood appeared inexplicably. The two were playing and laughing by the river, and running under the sunset. The voice and smile of that person seemed to still linger in my ears. But that was decades ago. Master Madara, Shen Yu said hesitantly and tentatively stretched out his hand. Fine. Madara calmed down, like a person waking up after a long dream. His eyes regained their indifference, but there was a hidden emotion in his eyes, as strong as mellow spirits, which could only be left to time to fade away. Tell me about what happened during this period of time. He leaned back on his chair and closed his eyes to rest. Shen Yu cleared his throat and began to talk. From sneaking into Konoha, inducing the mirror's emotions, to manipulating the four shadows' physical melee. From kidnapping Tsunade, using the body of the mirror to guide Hashirama in a desperate battle, to adapting to wood style, to, Eight Gates Dungeon, to fight against, Senju Senju. From silently adapting to the flying thunder god, to throwing the flying sword and seriously injuring Tobarama. In the end, the success stimulated Uchiha to open his eyes, break out his acting skills, and complete the brotherly battle. No matter how big or small the matter is, we will tell you everything. How is your brother's Mangekio? Madara opened his eyes, this was his third question. Well, the pupil technique is good, a little tricky, but the way of using it is vulgar, everything is within the plan. Shen Yu nodded, with a deep smile on the corner of his mouth. I just want him to feel that he can use Mangekio Sharingan safely and fall into the illusion that I can't do anything to him. Madara stared at him for a while and suddenly smiled. This smile couldn't help but make Shen Yu panic. You are better than your predecessor, you can actually come up with such a way to obtain the power of all things. Madara paused, are you so sure that the Uchiha mirror can withstand Hashirama's power? Quote. Madara-sama, why do you think I left Senju Tobarama alive? A small sharp blade sprouted from Shen Yu's fingertips. The color was dark green and deep, with a rich metallic luster. It exuded a tyrannical and murderous aura. Madara was a little surprised when she saw it. It's a very strong, high output form of extreme form change. This degree of aggregation has surpassed Suzano. Well, it's a good technique, but it consumes a bit more. He commented. Yes. Shen Yu raised his head, his eyes and brows dancing with pride. The newly learned moves came into use. My sword was deliberately deflected a little, hurting the heart but not fatal. This high-density condensed chakra will stay in his body for a long time, stagnating the meridians, and once it breaks out chakra, the sword energy goes straight into the internal organs, causing unbearable pain. 
Madara touched her chin, thoughtfully, a lot of the time, I always think you are a bit extreme. Shen Yu shook his head indifferently, there is no way, paralyzing Tobarama's strength and not being able to recover for several years is also a key part of this plan. After all my efforts, Konoha's current top-notch ones are just paper tigers. Once a war breaks out, the only shadow-level powerhouse who can truly be at the forefront is Uchiha Kagami. And Tobarama will soon realize that Kagami's Mangekyo eye power is limited. Once he loses these eyes, he will immediately fall from cage level strength and be knocked back to his original form. The spell I set can forcibly lock the last trace of the mirror's pupil power, protecting the eyes from blindness, and every time I am close to the limit, I will have a reaction. In order to continue Kagami's combat power and maintain his Mangekyo's pupil power, coupled with the information I deliberately revealed before, guess what this legendary master of forbidden arts will do? Madara's eyes were thinking, and for a moment, she suddenly said, he will try every means, at any cost, to transplant Hashirama's self-healing power to the Uchiha mirror. And you can only succeed, not fail. Shen Yu's eyes were blazing, and Madara even heard his heartbeat like a war drum. Madara nodded, well, once it fails, Konoha village will lose its last hope. From what I know about that guy, he can only succeed. That's the time I've been waiting for. Shen Yu's eyes were deep and his index finger tapped on the table unconsciously. At this moment, he looked like a scheming, little fox. The Mangekyo Sharingan that is fused with Hashirama cells is so exciting just thinking about it. He licked his lips, my good brother has already endured the pain of the fusion of yin and yang for me, and I just need to wait for the fruit to mature. That's it. Madara raised her eyebrows, you are being cruel to him by doing this. Cruel. What did he do to me back then? If it weren't for him, how could I have been fighting with Konoha? Madara Sama. Shen Yu raised his right hand, and only then did Madara realize that his fingertips were twitching slightly. It was not epilepsy, but an involuntary tremor caused by extreme excitement. I just resisted the urge to kill him and acted out a big show with him. He clenched his wrist to suppress the boundless murderous intention rising in his heart, and took a few deep breaths before he calmed down. In all the conversations with the mirror, only one sentence is true. My brother died forever on that night eleven years ago. I buried him with my own hands. Five years, he he. My dear brother, I can't wait that long. He has been preparing for this plan for many years in advance. When he told Madara and Hikaru this idea, both of them looked shocked. However, in order to obtain more power, Madara also supports unconditionally. After all, the stronger Shenyu is, the smoother the, eye of the moon, plan will be. At this time, Madara said, Guang has left for the kingdom of thunder according to your plan. If you have nothing to do, you can stop by and have a look. Shenyu nodded and said hesitantly, What about you, Madara-sama? I want to be alone for a while. The land of thunder, Ji Le Gorge. On the only way back to Union Village. Boom. A violent explosion shattered the rocks into pieces. The two streams of light moved at high speed among the mountains and collided violently. Under the strong fluctuations, the ground continued to tremble. Immediately afterwards, a dark red light beam tore through the dust curtain like an anti-aircraft gun and shot out. Wherever it passed, the rocks exploded. It was not until the figure with dazzling thunder and lightning embedded in the mountain that it slowly dissipated. The man broke through the wall and came out. His clothes were in tatters and his breath was disordered. He looked like a wild goose that had been soaked by heavy rain, and the light all over his body was much dimmed. Dark skin, thin but not thin body, it is the first rakage, I. He jumped up and down to the ground, then quickly turned around, facing the billowing smoke and dust, his dark face full of solemnity. Dead bodies were everywhere around him. The Kumogakur delegation returning from Konoha were all dead and wounded, and all his guards had their heads dismembered, and there was blood everywhere. Why why? Why are you doing this? First Rakage shouted with thunderous anger in his eyes. The smoke and dust dispersed, and two strong and burly figures slowly emerged. He was tall, with ferocious muscles, his ferocious eyes revealed naked murderous intent, and a heavy and violent aura hit him overwhelmingly. One person's blonde hair is flamboyant, while the other person's silver hair is as dark as darkness. The sharp long horns bring a strong sense of oppression, and the two pairs of eyes are shining with a strange purple light. 
Golden horn, silver horn. First Rakage spoke bitterly, I know there are many differences between us, but why do you want to attack and kill your companions? What is the difference between doing this and rebelling against a ninja? Ba, Ga, do you still need to explain to him now? Yin Zhao smiled and turned his head, Jin Zhao, what do you think? Jin Zhao moved his neck and made a, clucking, sound, there's really nothing I can do. At least I'm a companion, so it's not impossible to tell him. Some people don't want you to live, and. Jin Zhao raised his eyebrows, pretending to be embarrassed. If you don't die, we will have no reason to attack Konoha. If I kill you, my companions in the village will think that Konoha killed our Kumogakur mission, so that we can share the same hatred and unite as one. Jin Zhao added. What? First Rakage's eyes widened. You, are you crazy? The, god of ninja, is still alive, why do you dare to do this? The gold and silver brothers looked at each other with unspoken mockery in their eyes, this is not something you should consider. Old man, you don't have much time left. Instead of abdicating your position, you might as well give your last bit of strength to the village before you die. The two brothers approached together, and as soon as he finished speaking, the rich-tailed beast chakra erupted from his body. The dark red-tailed beast coat slowly covered the body surface, and their bodies grew little by little until they turned into two huge monsters with six tails. Half-tailed beast. How abominable. You disregard the lives of your companions just to satisfy your own selfish desires. As the founder of Union Village, I will never allow you two to do this. First rakage roared, and the raging lightning-style chakra enveloped the whole body. Electricity surged, thunder shone, and the light all over his body became even more dazzling. Asshole, do you really not understand or are you just pretending to be confused? Yin Zhao sneered, and the exoskeleton formed inch by inch, wrapping the limbs and head like armor. The real reason for killing you is, our brothers, I've seen you unhappy for a long time. There was a storm on the ground, and the two brothers started to move together, kicking the ground with their four claws, and rushed forward like hungry tigers. Even if I am shattered to pieces, I can't just watch you ruin Kumogakur's future. First Rakage transformed into lightning and raised his arms to attack, lightning-style double thunder plow hot knife. Boom. The thunder and the power of nine tails collided violently, the ground exploded, violent winds rose suddenly, the escaping arc shattered the surrounding rocks, and the circular shock wave instantly spread out for hundreds of meters. This is pure beast versus beast. The three of them were going back and forth in the Yunlei Gorge, punching each other hard. From time to time, there would be thunder and lightning across the sky, energy bursting, and the Yunlei Gorge would soon be filled with dust and smoke. Because of his old age and the fact that he was attacked by the Jin and Yin brothers in advance, First Rakage soon showed signs of failure and was knocked out by Jin Zhao with a crushing headbutt. He coughed up blood and flew backwards. The lightning on his body flickered and went out, and was almost extinguished. Poof. Silverhorn launched a sneak attack from the ground, and two pale bone claws penetrated deeply into Rakage's arms. He opened his mouth wide, used the exoskeleton to give his head hard sharp teeth, and bit Rakage's neck with a, click. Ah. Rakage let out a muffled groan, and the lightning-style chakra all over his body completely dissipated. Severe pain went straight into his brain, and the silver horn was tearing at his flesh and blood crazily. In just one short breath, blood surged out like a fountain, quickly dyeing his chest red. He clenched his teeth, concentrated the last strength on his left hand, and slapped Yin Zhao's hard skull hard, bursting out with huge force and sending him flying away. However, a purple-black sphere had already been charged up, and it sprayed out from Jin Zhao's mouth. A terrifying explosion of air came instantly, and a long straight line was blasted out of the ground instantly. Exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark. A huge explosion echoed through the canyon. Tick tock, tick tock. The smoke and dust gradually dissipated, and first rakage leaned against the stone wall weakly, sitting slumped in a pool of blood, his eyes dull, and the light gradually dissipated. Half of his body has disappeared. At this moment, a scent of fragrant wind blew from the side. In the last moment of First Rakage's life, he saw a beautiful figure wearing a cloak, and a long knife pierced into his chest, burning with black flames. Call. Amaterasu, burned blazingly, quickly wrapping First Rakage's body, and within three breaths, it was burned to ashes. The beautiful figure scanned the surroundings slightly, frowning slightly. 
Two beast-like figures descended from the sky and landed in front of her with a bang. The strong wind blew, and her black robes rustled, outlining her perfect and uneven figure. She raised her hand to lift up her cloak, revealing her beautiful face that was as beautiful as a hibiscus. Uchiha Light. The gold and silver brothers stepped forward slowly, their tall and majestic bodies forming a sharp contrast with the slender and exquisite girl. They stared at the girl, and finally bent down and knelt down on one knee, kneeling in front of the girl like a servant. I've met the master. The gold and silver brothers shouted in unison, their eyes pious and respectful, with absolute obedience. Wang seemed a little dissatisfied, looking down at the two brothers with a look of disgust. The breeze brought the girl's cold and gentle voice. Why are there such big commotion? Clean up the battlefield quickly, destroy the corpses, and don't leave any traces. Yes. Master. Don't be careless, there won't be any bloody smell left. Uchiha stood on a towering rock and directed the gold and silver brothers to clean up the battlefield. What I want is for them to disappear from the world, so that the top management of Union Village can never find them. Logically speaking, they should operate secretly. She wrinkled her delicate little nose and glanced around the destroyed areas speechlessly. Half of Yunlei Gorge. How did it happen? Jin Zhao responded in a muffled voice, Sorry, master, we will pay attention next time. This old guy is too resistant to beatings. Without bursting with strength, we can't take him down at all. Yin Zhao threw the corpse on his shoulders into the pile of corpses and lazily raised his head. Master, don't worry, we will declare this to the outside world. The power of the beast is so violent that others can't tell the difference. Hey. Wang couldn't help but put a hand on her forehead. She knew that if it were that guy, the battle would definitely end the moment the sneak attack succeeded. Sensing her displeasure, Jin Zhao immediately walked over and bumped his brother with his shoulder. Yin Zhao understood and shut up decisively, and the action of cleaning up the body became much more agile. After all, in the will of the two brothers, there was no thought of disobeying orders at all, not even the thought of disobeying each other. This is all thanks to Hikari's pupil technique, 8000 Spears. Six years ago, at Shen Yu's suggestion, the two brothers were hit by the 8,000 spears, and were imprinted. This imprint was directly imprinted on the soul. Unless there was the power of the universe, or the imprint could be lifted by oneself, they would never be able to do it again, will disappear. From then on, the chakra of the two brothers was completely controlled by the light, and they could be used at will, regardless of distance and space transfer. Over the course of several years, light indirectly invaded the spiritual realm of the gold and silver brothers through engravings, collected memory fragments, and mixed, deleted, modified, etc., and with a little effort, finally controlled their minds and completely destroyed them. Become your own puppet. In the subjective consciousness of the two brothers, Uchiha Madara, Uchiha Hikari, and Uchiha Shenyu are existences that they cannot disobey. It is as if they were born to be slaves of these three people. Everything about them is right and they only need to obey. No union village, no power, no power, can compare to an order from the master. Of course, the person with the greatest command authority is still the light. Soon, under Guang's supervision, the gold and silver brothers' cleaning speed increased significantly, and it took less than a moment to clear the battlefield. In addition to the first rakage who was burned to ashes by Amaterasu, the other corpses were also burned without leaving a trace. After the incident was over, Guang put on his cloak again and set off with the Jinyan brothers to Union Village. Who is this? Rakage building, behind the desk, a strong man with a bun, a rough appearance and a beard looked at Uchiha Hikari and squinted his eyes slightly. It's just our new friend. Jin Zhao said calmly. Friends. The strong man looked suspicious, you two brothers actually make friends outside the village. Hey, Aluda, although you are the agent of Rakage now, even if Rakage comes in person, he can't control who we make friends with, right? Yin Zhao grinned, took a step forward, and together with Jin Zhao, held up the delicate optical fiber. The figure is behind him. Aruda, first Rakage's strongest personal bodyguard, once accompanied him to participate in the Five Cage Conference. Now he has been promoted to a high level with his strong strength and reputation. He is recognized as a ninja who has inherited first Rakage's will. Everyone understands that if nothing else happens, this guy is almost the designated candidate for second rakage. 
Forget it, I don't understand you. Aluda shook his head, glanced at Guang one last time, and said solemnly, as long as you don't cause trouble to the village, the rest is up to you. His expression seemed relaxed, but there was a hint of imperceptible solemnity in his eyes. The black-robed woman in front of me looks thin, but judging from the fluctuations in chakra strength, she has at least reached the level of a shadow-level powerhouse. First rakage is old, and the election ceremony of the new shadow will be held soon. Now that he is not in the village, any changes will be fatal. The brothers had been at odds with Rakage in the early years, and were extremely dissatisfied with his, soft, policy. They had many quarrels, and now they have brought such a strong man back to the village. If he said it had no other purpose at all, he wouldn't believe it even to death. At this time, a middle-aged man who looked exactly like first Rakage pushed open the door and was obviously stunned when he saw the gold and silver brothers. He walked straight to the desk, worry condensed in his brows, and even Guang, an outsider, could see his anxiety. Lord Baylor, what's the matter? Aruda asked. The man named, Bail, immediately said, is there any news? When will my brother come back? Well, Aruda frowned slightly, it should be soon. After all, it has been four days. With Lord Rakage's pace, he will definitely be back tonight. Hearing this, Bail let out a long sigh. Hurry up, I feel the seal is showing signs of loosening. Feel sorry. Aluda suddenly interrupted him and turned to the gold and silver brothers. You too, if there is nothing else, you can go out. Jin Zhao said nothing and walked out with Uchiha in a muffled voice. There's something we can't listen to together. It's mysterious. Yin Zhao suddenly came forward and sat down on the desk. He put one hand on the table, slowly leaned over, and grinned, Hey! You guy, are you afraid that our brothers will steal your position as second rakage? Ginkaku Kun is joking. Aruda looked at him without changing his expression. Even though his dark face could not be seen to have changed color, Kumoyan village is everyone's union village. Even if it is an election, it must be open and fair, the public's eyes are sharp, Yin Zhao Kun doesn't have to worry about what I do. Hey, you are a clique, I really can't get along with you. Yin Zhao waved his hand and left wisely. Late at night, the stars lit up the sky, and the faint clouds and smoke lingered around the village, making it quiet. Guang stood alone on the roof of the hotel, looking up at the night sky. The evening breeze was cool and moist, causing thousands of blue hairs to float slightly. The stars in the sky came into view, and the girl's pretty face was full of worries. If anyone could see her expression at this time, they would find that the worry on her face was no less than that of Balak during the day. Suddenly, she came to her senses as if she had woken up from a dream, and turned around suddenly to look in the direction of the rakage building. There, there was a crazy air current blowing towards my face. At the same time, Jin Zhao and Yin Zhao, who were sleeping soundly, opened their eyes at the same time. They quickly pushed the door open and glanced at each other in unison, confirming a message from each other's eyes. Eight tails, ran away. Uchiha put on his cloak again, and like a civet walking on the roof under the moon, he jumped up lightly and disappeared. Kumogakur village, central area near Rakage building. A powerful and manic roar pierced the night sky, waking everyone in the village from their dreams. Barriers squad, evacuate all villagers within a kilometer radius. Deploy the iron wall cloud formation. Sealing squad, on standby for now, wait for the right moment to deploy the seal. Combat squad, charge with me, don't give it time to launch the tailed beast jade. Aluda looked solemn, and while directing the battle, he took the lead and rushed to the front. In the center of the field, a giant pink creature was destroying everything like crazy. It had two horns on its head, roared like thunder, and eight huge octopus tentacles danced crazily. Not far from its feet, Eight Tails Jinchuriki Bale was buried in the ruins, and the tailed beast emerged from the body, which meant that Bale was now a corpse. Thunder and lightning flashed out, and about twenty ninjas fought around Eight Tails. Countless ninjutsu covered it, but with little effect. Eight Tails roared angrily, and with two thick arms, it pulled out a tall tower and smashed it towards the cloud ninjas with a, bang. Hateful. Aluda shouted angrily, and as the lightning flashed, his whole body was covered in thunder armor, and he slammed into eight tails. Boom. The huge impact caused eight tails' huge body to stumble. It waved its arms and struck back, sending Aruda flying away. 
A bolt of lightning struck through three streets one after another, and a large number of buildings collapsed and shattered. Lightning Style Combination Technique 16 Pillar Binding The four Anbu's hands pressed to the ground together, and 16 stone pillars rose from the ground, trapping eight tails huge body in the center like prison bars. With a, zilla, sound, dazzling thunder and lightning burst out from the stone pillars at the same time, turning into thunder nets connected to each other, and the blue thunder light directly lit up eight tails. But instead of causing any harm to eight tails, this move completely angered it. The eight tentacles and long tails were punched out like fists, and they smashed all the stone pillars with just a random swing. The two ninjas who were unable to retreat were buried in a pile of rocks, and their lives and deaths were unknown. Click, click, click. Several powerful Jonan took the opportunity to surround him, and swung huge chains to wrap around eight tails arms and tentacles. Dozens of people worked together to try to restrict its movements. Ah. Following the roars of the cloud ninjas, the thick iron chains stretched straight in an instant. Uchiha, who was watching the battle on the sidelines, couldn't help but nodded, saying to himself that Kumogakur was indeed a ninja village specializing in ninjutsu, and how dared to use such primitive methods to fight the tailed beasts. However, human power is limited after all, how can it be compared to tailed beasts? Eight tails just exerted force and threw everyone away like a yo-yo. Eight tails jumped on the spot and landed with a crash. The heavy force cracked the ground and caused the people surrounding him to stagger. It took the opportunity to raise its head and condense the tailed beast jade. A bolt of lightning came from a distance, like a blazing thunder arrow, hitting the head of eight tails, instantly interrupting the condensing chakra. But soon, the future second rakage was shot flying out again, causing damage to buildings within a kilometer radius. There is no way, his method is too simple. If we only talk about the battle between ninjas, he must be the leading offensive weapon, but what he has to face is a tailed beast. A tailed beast whose strength and chakra far exceed those of ordinary cage-level ninjas. Giggle. The crisp sound of bones came, and Jinjiao and Yinjiao moved their fists and feet and stood up. Jinjiao, it seems that some people have a harder time. Yes, Silverhorn, I don't know if Master Aluda needs help from our two veterans. Aluda's pupils shrank and he quickly jumped out of the ruins, wait a minute, you two can't do anything. If you really want to help, just use your amber purification bottle to try to seal eight tails. Yin Zhao spread his hands and looked at his brother, Jin Zhao, Jin Zhao, it seems that some people have bad memories. If that kind of thing could be used, wouldn't it have been used long ago? That's right, Ginkaku. Last time the two-tailed Jinchuriki went berserk, the two-tailed beast was still sealed in the amber bottle. It would be bad if you opened the bottle cap rashly and released another tailed beast. Aruda looked anxious. Now that first rakage is not here, if he suppresses eight tails by himself, he will need to use all his strength, but then the village will be doomed. The same principle applies to the gold and silver brothers who have the power of nine tails. Moreover, once those two guys fight, they will lose their humanity, and the situation will only get worse. Buzz. A huge and heavy aura spread throughout the place like a rising tide. Eight tails opened its mouth, and the red and blue chakra appeared again. The entire Union village was enveloped in a dangerous aura. Aluda didn't care about the loss, and immediately activated the thunder armor to slam into it, interrupting the charging eight tails again. As the battle progressed, countless buildings collapsed and shattered. Fortunately, arrangements had been made for residents to move out, and there were no casualties among ordinary villagers for the time being. But this is not a solution. Relying on Aluda alone to fight is nothing but a drop in the bucket. Sooner or later, eight tails will break out of the barriers and kill everyone. Just when the gold and silver brothers were hesitating whether to take action, a calm girl's voice came from behind. Let me do it. As long as we make eye contact, the battle will be over in an instant. Jin Zhao immediately turned around and advised, but, that will not only expose the master's existence, but also consume a lot of your strength. There is nothing we can do about it. In the future plan, Eight Tails is a vital link and there is no room for error. Hikari raised his hands, revealing a pair of scarlet beautiful Mangekio Sharingan under the black gauze cloak. Besides, I don't want it to go out and massacre civilians. At this time, Aluda was hit by Eight Tails tentacles again and flew away from a distance, but there was no other ninja in the field. 
Just when Guang was about to take action, eight tails suddenly roared and wrapped his body with eight tentacles, like a huge alien flower. Tailed Beast 8 Volumes Golden Horn and Silver Horn immediately rushed forward, holding the petite light firmly behind them. Master, leave quickly. If this move continues, most of Union Village will be razed to the ground. Aruta's desperate cry came from the distance. Barriers class, fight tooth and nail to maintain barriers. At this moment, a shadow suddenly flashed across the night sky, and the air around the body was rubbing at extremely high speeds, forming a hot and twisted airflow. The falling meteor was like a divine weapon descending from the sky. Of all the people present, only Guang could clearly see that it was a young man. He smashed the barriers instantly, as easily as breaking sugar peel, and smashed into the flower bone, formed by eight tails without any pause, and the whole Union village trembled. Boom. The storm swept in, crushing the ruins into slag. Guang did not hide behind the gold and silver brothers, but pushed them away and stepped out. The turbulent wind gradually dissipated, and a black-haired boy stood with hands clasped above Eight Tails' head, his eyes clear and handsome. The Eight Tails under his feet were no longer violent, but as quiet as a calf, and the two lantern-sized bull eyes had turned into the shape of three Magatama Sharingan. Shen Yu looked down at the light, his black hair flickering, and he smiled lightly, am I late? Guang was stunned for a moment, then smiled and said, no. Just in time. Late at night, the smoke has cleared in Union Village. Shen Yu jumped down from Eight Tails' head and greeted Guang with a smile, I haven't seen you for a few days. I miss you so much, Guang. Huh, even if you don't come, I can solve it on my own. Guang Chao blushed slightly and deliberately didn't look at him. Yes, yes, yes. Shen Yu walked up to the light, with a faint cyan vapor floating around his body. He had not yet released the, third gate of life, state. How are you doing over there, first rakage? He looked inquiringly and made a, wipe his neck, gesture. Don't worry, the finish is very, very clean. Wang's little face was raised, and her fair and slender neck was like a proud little swan, what about you? Of course I'm fine. This battle with Senju Hashirama allowed me to redefine my own strength and avenge my parents. Apart from Toborama's life, the Senju clan no longer owes me anything. Shen Yu sighed with emotion and glanced at the messy surroundings, it seems something unexpected happened. Well, Eight Tails suddenly went berserk. Wang nodded lightly. What did you do? Shen Yu blinked, slightly surprised. Of course not. Wang rolled his eyes, looking slightly disgusted, it's really just an accident. Shen Yu pondered for a moment, and an idea suddenly came to his mind. If first Rakage had not died at this point in time, then he probably died in this battle in the original time and space. He tried his best to protect the village, and finally sealed the eight tails and died of exhaustion. No civilians were injured, right? Shen Yu suddenly asked. Jin Zhao on the side immediately replied. Don't worry, Lord Shen Yu, Aluda's response was very timely and he evacuated the people immediately. You are still as kind as ever. I just don't want to burden myself. Shen Yu said silently, looked behind Jin Zhao, and raised the corners of his mouth slightly, also, don't call me Aluda in the future, call others second rakage sama. Several people turned around, and where barriers collapsed, a grey-faced figure rushed over. What, is going on? Aruta looked puzzled and noticed the sudden appearance of the young man in front of him. However, when the feedback came from chakra perception, he suddenly felt as if he was facing a powerful enemy, his eyes filled with solemnity. You. Dot who are you? Did you solve eight tails? My name is Uchiha Shenyu. Suppressing eight tails is just a matter of convenience and being a hero for fun. Shenyu tilted his head, however, these are not important. Shen Yu raised his hand with a smile, and his figure disappeared on the spot. The afterimages gathered into a palm knife, and the next moment it struck Aluda on the back of the neck. What? So fast? Speed. Aruda felt like he was hit hard, and the thunder armor shattered instantly, like paper, and the figure of the young man in front of him also shattered. Then dissipated. The whites of his eyes rolled up and he knelt forward uncontrollably, almost unconscious on the spot. A slender hand pinched the back of his neck and lifted him up easily. The fragrance rushed to his face, and Uchiha flashed in front of him. His eyes, which were about to close, reflected a pair of magnificent scarlet pupils, with ink patterns like circling swifts. Thump! 
Shen Yu let go, causing Aluda's unsupported body to fall to the ground, completely falling into a coma. On the back of Aluda's hand, a Mangekio Sharingan mark slowly emerged like Kyoko Suigetsu. In one second, he instantly killed a shadow-level warrior and stamped him with the mark of 8,000 spears. Although the victory was a bit weak, it still showed that the two people's cooperation was perfect and perfect. Shen Yu turned around and ordered, Now that Eight Tails is under control, you two go and divert the attention of other Kumo ninjas, and appease the people by the way. The Gold and Silver Brothers immediately nodded and disappeared in a flash. Shen Yu dispelled the Eight Gates dungeon, came to Hikaru, and asked softly, Are you okay? Have you used, Amaterasu, or, Sukuyomi, again recently. Wang immediately put down the little hand that was rubbing her eyes. Although her eyelids were dry and she shed crystal tears, she still held on and said, I'm fine, it's just a waste. Shen Yu sighed softly and wiped away the tears hanging on her pretty face with the back of his hand. His movements were gentle and meticulous, and he avoided the softest lips just right. Promise me, after this time, you won't use the pupil technique again. How can I be as fragile as you think? Your eyesight. Shen Yu was helpless and immediately changed his words. I don't need much help from you now, at least in terms of eye skills, but in the future. What happens next? Wang raised her pretty face and asked. Shen Yu was now a head taller than her. Shen Yu took a deep breath and turned his gaze to the endless starry sky. There may be an unavoidable death battle waiting for me in the future. Promise me, Guang, if you really want to help me, then put all your strength in that time. How long will the battle you mentioned last? Hikaru finally raised his hand and covered his left eye. There was an almost stiff pain, and Kakuzu's eye was twitching. I don't know either. Shen Yu changed the topic, but that's not the issue we need to worry about now. I don't need you to control this Aluda. I'll figure it out myself. Wang snorted and simply rejected Shen Yu's kindness, 8,000 spears is my natal pupil technique. The consumption of pupil power is not that exaggerated. Besides, it has been marked, so there is no reason not to control it. Okay. Shen Yu knew her temper, so he didn't insist anymore and asked softly, how long will it take to completely control his mind? Wang rubbed his dry eyelids and said, it will take about two weeks. Well, this time is just right. Shen Yu's eyes were soft, thank you for your hard work. He turned and walked towards the darkness, and the light followed his back, leaving only a ruins and an eight tails standing there. After the eight tails rampage was suppressed, under the orderly command of the Gold and Silver Brothers and a group of senior officials, Union Village gradually returned to its former peace. Jin Zhao announced to the public that Aluda was currently recuperating at Kumogakur Hospital due to serious injuries. During this period, all affairs in the village were temporarily handled by their brothers. Until first Rakage returns, or Aluda recovers from his injuries. Of course, at this time Aluda was completely immersed in Shenyu's genjutsu and remained in a comatose state. Wang, on the other hand, was silently searching for memory fragments in his spiritual world and began a brainwashing operation. In this way, Time slipped away day by day as everyone in Union Village was looking forward to Reikage's return. Konoha Village, Hokage Building. Senju Toborama stood in front of the window with his back to the desk, a gloomy face reflected on the smooth glass. After a few days of rest, although his injuries had temporarily recovered, his complexion still did not improve, as if he had suddenly aged several dozen years. In fact, he already knew everything from Jing's mouth. After learning that Shen Yu would not take action against Konoha for the time being, he transferred back to the village from the secret base. A few days ago, Kaoru teleported to the base through the Flying Thunder God technique, and reported the battle situation to Toborama. Except for the five-year agreement, he wrote everything that happened between himself and Shen Yu in the mission report, including the encounter between the two and what they said to each other. Of course, the deal involving Shen Yu, voluntarily giving up his eyes in exchange for five years, this kind of thing was all mentioned in the mirror. Of course, this simple rhetoric cannot fool Toborama. Therefore, the explanation given by Jing as to the reason why Shenyu retreated is. Kamu's real purpose is not to destroy Konoha village at all, but to obtain his own Mangekio Sharingan. Toborama nodded frequently as he heard this, because he knew that Madara gained such powerful power by transplanting the eyes of the dead Izuna. 
Jing explained that due to the nature of his eye skills, Shen Yu had nothing to do with him. He could not catch him with a light attack, but would damage Shen Shen Yen Yen's eyes with a heavy attack. Therefore, even if you have the power to destroy yourself instantly, you are still short of resources. Tobarama was so shrewd that he grasped the key point almost instantly and raised his doubts. He didn't threaten you with the village. Mirror's answer is. Yes, then I will destroy my eyes directly. He will have no choice but to retreat angrily. In response, Tobarama first praised his disciples will of fire for sacrificing his life for righteousness, and then warned him with a serious face. You must be careful, Shen Yu will not give up eye catching, so you must be alert in the future and not give him any opportunities. Tobarama is a cautious person. He read the mission report submitted by Kagami over and over again, word for word, trying to understand Shen Yu's intentions and analyze the intelligence. Then, he came to a terrible conclusion. With his current strength, whenever he appears in Shen Yu's field of vision, he is bound to die. In addition, there was another piece of news that concerned him very much. That was when the two brothers were fighting in the Valley of the End, Jing was accidentally punched by Shen Yu into the chest of the statue of Uchiha Madara, and Shen Yu blurted out a sentence unintentionally. Oh, it's really unlucky. It took Madara-sama six years to grow this piece of meat. Single quote. Meat. Wound. What kind of trauma actually takes six years to heal? Speaking of which, after the battle that year, Tobarama rushed to his brother's side immediately and noticed a bloody scab on his shoulder. That wound was not caused by any blunt or sharp object, it was more like, a bite mark. But because he had to concentrate on dealing with Shen Yu at that time, he didn't pay attention. He just sneered at Madara in his heart. A person who has been pursuing elegance in combat all his life actually showed such a beast-like side. Could it be that? Madara bit off a piece of her eldest brother's flesh back then. He vaguely noticed that there was something very strange about this matter. Uchiha Madara, was probably transplanted with his brother's flesh and blood. This couldn't help but arouse his high suspicion. Why did Madara do this? Is it possible that by fusing the power of Senju and Uchiha, a stronger power can be awakened? On that rainy night six years ago, Madara faked her death and escaped, and then disappeared from everyone's sight. What was she planning behind the scenes? He was silent for a long time, puzzled. But now he has no time to think about these things, because there are more serious situations waiting for him to deal with. On the day he returned to the village, he also brought back a person's body and a piece of sad news. His elder brother, Senju Hashirama, died. His own serious injuries were difficult to recover from, and the root of the disease was at the root of the disease. Once chakra broke out, his heart would be twisted like a knife, his life would be hanging by a thread, and he would be considered to have lost his shadow level fighting ability. This is a very serious internal injury, and it will take 10 or 8 years to fully recover. That night, all senior executives held a meeting, and a fierce quarrel broke out in the conference room of the Hokage building. 80% of people believe that the death of Lord Hokage should not be announced, especially in such a critical situation that Sasuke Serutobi died and Senju Tobarama was seriously injured. The new generation has not yet grown up, and the village already seriously lacks cage-level combat power. If it is announced at this time, it will be tantamount to showing weakness to the other four major ninja villages. Another 20% of the representatives, headed by the Senju clan, believe that Senju Hashirama has dedicated his whole life, not only founded Konoha village, but also set a precedent for all generations and ended the warring states period. With such great achievements, such a person should hold a grand ceremony. The funeral allowed everyone in the world to mourn him, and he should not have died anonymously. Both sides held their own opinions and couldn't argue. In the end, Uzumaki Mito spoke up and insisted on holding a funeral, but there was no need to announce it to the world, just inform all the Konoha villagers. To this, Tobarama could only frown and agree. He is actually on the rational side, and this kind of deception will not last long. So, three days later, Konoha village held a grand funeral for the God of Ninja, and all the Konoha villagers came to pay their respects. As the sad and solemn eulogy was slowly read, everyone burst into tears, mourning the God of Ninja, who calmed the troubled times. The real cause of his death was kept secret by the top management, 
and it was only announced to the outside world that he was mentally and physically exhausted and that his life span was over. But Tobarama knew very well that that night when Shen Yu attacked Konoha, all the Kageko from the other four great ninja villages were present. Once the news leaks out, anyone with a discerning eye will see that it was Shen Yu who killed the god of ninja. But this is not bad news. Tobarama once used the information that Madara faked her death outside to scare the other four major countries for six years, so now Shen Yu's evil reputation must be used. He pressed his temples, but the fatigue in his eyes could not be resolved. On the night of Hashirama's burial, he was unanimously voted by the senior officials and became the second Hokage of Konoha village. Although when my eldest brother was still alive, the work he did was no different from what he does now, but only when he actually sits in this position can he realize the responsibilities and pressures he has to bear as a Hokage. The current situation in the village is not optimistic. There are not many shadow level warriors with the highest combat power left. The three most powerful people are dead and useless. The patriarchs of the major families have long been spending more time fighting for power because they have been comfortable for too long and have neglected their cultivation. Except for one Hyuga Chunfeng, they all it no longer has the film level strength it once had. The strongest of the new generation, Hiruzen, Danzo and others, are only as strong as Jonan. The previous wave has failed to catch up, the following wave has not succeeded, powerful enemies are waiting around, and there are internal and external troubles. Wrong. Tobarama raised his head suddenly, his eyes flashing. And one more. Uchiha mirror. In the Uchiha tribe, Kaoru suddenly sneezed, startling the girl in front of him, and the three-color dumpling in his hand fell to the ground with a bang. Ah, I'm sorry, Yuko, let me take you to buy another bunch. The girl blushed and shook her head, her black ponytail swaying, no need, Mr. Jing, you have been under a lot of pressure recently, you have to take care of yourself. Jing scratched his head in embarrassment, taking care of you is the task assigned to me by the clan leader. After all, you are his biological sister. Actually, Uchiha put his hands behind his back and tiptoed shyly, King Kun, you don't need to take this as a task. She opened her beautiful eyes wide, and a flash of bravery flashed through her dark eyes. She raised her head, pecked Jing on the face, and then ran away with a blushing face. Only Jing was left standing there dumbfounded. Time flew by in a hurry, and half a month passed in the blink of an eye. Union Village is in an anxious and excited state as a whole. After such a long time, they still haven't waited for first rakage to return. The top management sent dozens of teams to search, but there was no trace at all. The entire Kumogakur mission, including first rakage, seemed to have disappeared from the world. People in the village are in panic, especially after they have just experienced the Eight Tails Rampage incident. At this moment, they are in urgent need of a backbone to stabilize people's hearts. As time went by, everyone began to have bad guesses. Could it be that Lord Rakage and the others were assassinated? But who has the courage? Who has the strength? Besides, Lord Rakage went to the Leaf Village to attend a banquet, and no one saw them again after that. Hum. Konoha. Could it be that Konoha plotted against Rakage Sama? Did Konoha plot against Rakage Sama? Konoha killed Lord Rakage. This news suddenly spread like wildfire, and at some point, it spread throughout Union Village. The major representatives were filled with indignation and jointly signed a letter, seeking justice from Konoha. Just when the top management was worried, Aluda woke up. As soon as he regained consciousness, he immediately held a meeting in the Rakage building, with all senior executives present. Even the Gold and Silver Brothers, who were usually unruly and unruly, also participated in the meeting obediently, which made the major families look at him with admiration. I think we should immediately launch a righteous invasion of the Land of Fire, attack Konoha, and seek justice for Lord Rakage. What? Aluda, do you know what you are talking about? This, 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 isn't it right, Aluda, everyone knows that you and Mr. I are as close as father and son, but to act so rashly is really a reckless act. Little Aluda, I watched you grow up. You are not such a reckless person. Erda slapped the table and stood up, not saying anything shocking. Konoha has bullied others too much, is it possible that we have to endure it? Sir I established Kumoyan village to protect you cowards. This is how you inherit the thunder of will. Hey. You are so excited. 
at least send someone to Konoha to verify. Stupid or not, since it was done secretly, how could anyone admit it? Yin Zhao interjected. Konoha is not the kind of hidden village that dares to do something but not take it seriously, and I believe in Hashirama Dono's character. The elder of the Yeui clan expressed his opinion. Jin Zhao said solemnly, Believe me, this is just a waste of time and manpower. There were many reckless people in Union's meeting, and everyone held their own opinions. The more noisy and excited they became, in the end they lifted the table, rolled up their sleeves, and even yelled in anger. All in all, as soon as Aruta's plan was proposed, it was opposed by most people. The meeting was temporarily postponed, and everyone at the top level left unhappy. Three days later, the mission sent to Konoha disappeared again, and Aruta held a second meeting that night. This time, he still stubbornly insisted on attacking Konoha, but there were still many voices of opposition. The crowd was passionate, and the more noisy, the more violent it became. Finally, Aruta proposed to vote out the senior elders who had objections, and let them personally lead the team to Konoha to discuss the matter and inquire about the whereabouts of the first rakage and the Kumogakur mission. A week passed, and there was no news from the elder who was sent abroad. He never came back. The third meeting was held. Konoha has really bullied me too much. With Senju Hashirama, he can bully me at will. This time, there was much less opposition to Aruta's angry speech. This must be an accident, right? After all, the wandering ninjas in Jile Gorge have been somewhat rampant recently. Do you think, should we send out another team to try? Jin Zhao said in a low voice, believe me, don't die, it's useless. Yin Zhao showed a provocative smile, Elder Yeui, otherwise, you will lead the team this time. The old man, who was nearly 60 years old and had a weathered face, immediately shut up. Many smart people have seen the situation clearly and have quietly begun to take sides. However, because Senju Hashirama is so famous, many people worry that the future of Cloud Hidden Village will be directly wiped out, and they have never been able to reach a unified opinion. But the balance of the situation has begun to tilt. Most people seconded Aluda's proposal and hated Konoha. It was not until three days later that a piece of news reached Union Village. The first Hokage of Konoha Village, Senju Hashirama, known as the God of Ninja, has died at the end of his life. Aruta held another meeting, and the topic was still the proposal to conquer Konoha. This time, no objections were heard, only a few wise old men were still hesitating. If you have any concerns, feel free to raise them. Elruta knocked on the table, I would like to add that just yesterday, this proposal was approved by the daimyo. This, the crusade against Konoha is of course important. Konoha will give us justice no matter what, but. But since we have no leader, we are bound to get off to a bad start. Aluda smiled slightly and said, simple, I just become rakage, right? The direction of the meeting was changed, and the top management was also resolute and started voting immediately. What is surprising is that the Gold and Silver Brothers, who hold a considerable majority of the voting rights, actually agreed to Erda becoming the second rakage. Without any surprise, Aruta officially became the second rakage with a unanimous vote, and issued a notice to raise troops to attack Konoha. As soon as the news came out, people were in a frenzy. In the unnoticed izakaya, Shen Yu was sipping tea in a private room on the second floor, Looking out the window at the busy streets, a smile flashed across his lips. You've started a war by doing this. Guang sat opposite him with his chin in his hands, his long sleeves sliding down, revealing a small section of his snowy lotus-rooted arms. Shen Yu said lightly, war will come sooner or later, I just adjusted the time a little. Besides, he took a sip of tea, we have asked Aruta to give an order not to harm civilians. This is a war only against ninjas. Wang just looked at him like this, his almond-shaped eyes brightened, for a long time. What's wrong? There's something on my face. Shen Yu noticed her gaze. Sometimes I wonder, what are you planning? Are you really just trying to get the same power as Madara? Wang's voice was cold, like an orchid in an empty valley. Shen Yu smiled and said, since you don't know anything, do you still dare to help me? Aren't you afraid that I will sell you out? Hey! Wang curled his lips and muttered softly, you don't dare. Shen Yu smiled but did not answer, turning to look out the window. According to his plan, one day in the future, 
you will not only be able to obtain the eternal Mangekyo that is fused with the power of Hashirama's cells, but even Light can also get the power of Hashirama's cells. Over the years, Hikaru's vision has been declining. Fortunately, life in the base is very peaceful and there is no need to use the power of Mangekyo Sharingan. Hikaru no longer has any blood relatives in this world, and the only way to protect these two Mangekyo Sharingan is to obtain the power of Hashirama's cells. But in Shen Yu's view, Master Madara's method of transplanting Hashirama's flesh and blood was too aggressive, and the extreme pain was not something that ordinary people could bear. What's more, Guang is just a girl. In addition, there is a milder method, which is to directly transplant by Ju's flesh and blood. The so-called White Zetsu is actually the product of the Ghetto Statue. Its true form is a human being sealed in the sacred tree by Otsutsuki Kegaya thousands of years ago through infinite Tsukuyomi, and its body contains the rich power of the sacred tree. Due to a strange combination of circumstances, a part of the white zetsu was fused with Hashirama cells under the transformation of Madara, and the Yang-style chakra in their bodies became more powerful. Uchiha Obito of the original time and space was transplanted with the body of this special white zetsu. Guaranteed the recoverability of pupil power. The pain caused by fusing Hashirama's cells has been absorbed by White Zetsu, and White Zetsu already contains countless human genes, so White Zetsu's flesh and blood is very adaptable. Under its transition, there will be basically no pain after transplantation, and even the most basic immune rejection will not occur. With the blessing of the self-healing factor of Yang Style's power, Obito can continuously repair the optic nerve, circumventing the blindness effect of Mangekyo Sharingan to a certain extent. But we have to wait until Madara opens the Samsara Eye to channel Ghetto statue from the moon. If we really have to wait until then, she can become a mother in law. Therefore, Shenyu's current plan is particularly urgent. Konoha Year 13, December. Because of the disappearance of the first rakage and the annihilation of the missions one after another, Kumogakur organized a large number of ninjas to invade the land of fire, uprooting the outposts and bases along Konoha with drastic measures and thunderous blows. Among them, the vanguard army led by Golden Horn is even more unstoppable. The plantain fan combined with the power of the tailed beast is as powerful as a natural disaster. It kills everyone in the team battle and is unbeatable. When the news reached Konoha, it immediately aroused public outrage. Second Hokage Senju Tobarama immediately summoned Konoha's top brass to start a combat meeting. The peace policy, proposed by a small number of people was rejected by Tobarama with one vote. The current situation is turbulent, and the eyes of the entire ninja world are watching. If we negotiate for peace at this time, it is tantamount to showing weakness to a strong enemy. In this world of the jungle, no one will reason with the weak. If you show your enemy weakness, they will soon be attacked by a group. The best way is to retaliate and suppress them with thunder. Two days later, Konoha declared war on Kumogakur and sent an elite ninja force headed by Uchiha Kagami to counterattack Kumogakur. The main forces of the two sides clashed at the northern border of the Land of Fire, and a battle began. Uchiha Kagami single-handedly blocked Golden Horn and the Kumo ninja troops behind him. Both sides suffered injuries to each other, and the battle became more and more intense. In the middle of the same month, a battle broke out between Iwagakur village and Karigakur village for unknown reasons. The two sides were enemies of each other and had long-standing grievances. It was like a powder keg ready to explode at the first sign of attack. The Iwa ninja and the Kiri ninja sent troops to attack each other, and the fighting was even more intense than that between Konoha and Kumogakur. With a sparse population, barren land, and a weak economy, the country of wind was not involved in the war. Instead, it closed its doors and took care of itself. During this period, the second generation Kaze Cage came to power, and while wary of other ninja villages, he devoted more energy to the development of Sunagakur village. At this point, with the departure of first Hokage Senju Hashirama, the agreement between the five major powers collapsed instantly. The balanced pattern of the new era established on this basis, which maintained the peace for the first ten years of the new era, completely collapsed. The first ninja war has officially begun. Dot. In the northern part of the Land of Fire, the front between Konoha and Kumogakur. Jinjiao jumped up high on the spot, swung out the banana fan in his hand, and a hurricane suddenly swept over with endless prairie fire flames. 
Water Style Water Barrier The three Konoha ninjas used water style ninjutsu together, and the surging water gathered into a water wall of more than 10 meters, blocking the front of the team. Zizizi. Water and fire merged, evaporating a huge amount of steam instantly. But the enemy's flames were too fast and fierce. After only a moment of stalemate, the white mist was torn apart by the dragon-like flames. The red fire light illuminated the horrified faces of Konoha ninjas. At this moment, a figure opened his arms, like a bird with open wings, blocking everyone. Master Mirror. Master Jing is here. Facing the surging flames in the mirror, he was fearless because he had already opened a pair of Mangekio Sharingan as bright as glass. Garuda. The flames seemed to have found an outlet in an instant, and poured into Jing's body crazily, circling like a whirlwind. In less than two seconds, the huge amount of flames was swallowed up by him. As soon as Kagami stepped out, a huge gap opened in the ground. A huge amount of heat flow followed the crack and flowed into the earth, detonating instantly, blowing the Kumo Ninja team dozens of meters away into pieces. Before everyone in Konoha could cheer, the mirror suddenly flashed back, and a silver light struck down vertically like a swimming fish. The heavy sword broke into the ground, followed by a figure with silver hair and two horns. Boy, can you even detect my sneak attack? Yin Zhao raised a charming smile, and the dark red-tailed beast chakra instantly covered his body, and then slapped Jing's chest with a claw. The strange suction force appeared again, and Yin Zhao felt that all the strength in his body was relaxed, and the claw that was originally powerful and heavy became a light attack, more like a lover's caress. Jing grabbed his wrist and kicked him in the chest. His strength came like a tsunami and kicked Yin Zhao away. The Seven Star Sword was also blown away by the air wave and hit the stone wall far away. Who, who? Jing was breathing heavily, and his left eye was filled with fine bloodshot eyes. He had to cover his eyes due to bursts of stinging pain. The dust and smoke billowed away in the distance, and the Gold and Silver Brothers stood up at the same time. Hey, where's that Uchiha brat, second Hokage? Ginkaku yelled. Jing said loudly, to deal with you, I don't need Master Hokage to take action. I can do it by myself. Haha, ha, you are so arrogant. You will know later whether it is a trash fish or not. Jin Zhao's eyes became fierce. Silver Horn clenched his fists, and crackling bones were heard all over his body, really. If the big one doesn't come out to charge, let the small ones come out to fight. Second Hokage is nothing more than that. They all transformed into half-tailed beasts, turning into two dark red beasts that turned into red light and pounced towards them. Wind release, wind killing formation. Mirror quickly turned around, formed a seal, and used wind release to push the Konoha ninja behind him away. Two sharp claws slapped him on the back the next moment. Boom. The ground exploded instantly, blood flowed from Jing's left eye, and countless afterimages appeared on his body. Each afterimage absorbed a huge amount of kinetic energy, and finally the afterimage returned to its original state. As a bit of golden light lit up, a huge golden skeleton crawled out of the ground and beat back the gold and silver brothers with a fist. Go! Kagami shouted softly, Suzano opened his skeletal hand, and three huge magatama exploded into flashes of golden light. The two brothers punched each other in midair and used the force to dodge the magatama. The golden light penetrated deep into the forest, and the trees fell like harvested wheat. The mirror immediately lifted Suzano. The gold and silver brothers landed on the ground at the same time, raised their long tails one after another, and raised their heads to condense the tailed beast jade. Jing took a deep breath, his eyes were calm and sharp, he stood there with his legs spread, and as the seals of his hands changed, a kanai floated in front of his eyes. Call out. Call out. Two dark purple balls as big as fists broke through the air in an instant, turning into straight red light and shooting out. Everything along the way was smashed into slag. The tailed beast jade was blasted in front of the mirror, and there was only a, buzz, sound. The space rippled like water, and layers of dark spells emerged, wrapping up and swallowing the two-tailed beast jade like a spider web. Flying thunder god guiding thunder. A hundred miles away, the black magic technique opened out of thin air and two-tailed beast jade shot out from the twisted space, causing a sky-high explosion. Well done, Mr. Mirror. With Master Jing here, we will definitely win. However, facing the two monsters who were charging up their tailed beast jade again, Jing had a solemn look on his face. 
Everyone, retreat according to Formation B. He shouted. The sound waves rolled out and spread to every corner of the battlefield. Suddenly, the Konoha ninjas who were fighting fiercely with the Kumo ninja immediately gave up their opponents and gathered towards the location of the mirror. They threw out their chains one after another, connecting each other's bodies together like fishing nets. Jing stretched out his hand, grasped one end of the chain, and made a, we, seal with one hand. Flying Thunder God Technique. In an instant, most of Konoha's ninjas, including Mirror, disappeared at the same time. Two-tailed beast Jade bombarded directly, and the huge explosion swallowed up Konoha's position. The battlefield was filled with thick smoke. Except for a few Konoha ninjas who were too late to evacuate, as well as scattered corpses, 60% of Konoha's main force had successfully evacuated. A post hundreds of miles away. A group of people appeared out of thin air, and the mirror fell directly next to a kanai, with exhaustion on their faces. Not good. Call the medical ninja. Idiot, Master Jing should be sent to rest at this time. Looking at the people in a hurry, Jing was unable to explain that he lost strength because he suddenly consumed most of his chakra, so he simply let the people carry him back to the position. Golden horn, silver horn. It failed. We still couldn't hold the front line. Ah, if my eye power were stronger, like his, I could block them. It's the end of Konoha's 13th year. The fallen leaves are flying, the weather is getting colder, and the yellow grass has been covered with a layer of white frost. It has been a month since Kumo Hidden Village invaded the country of fire. The main forces of both sides were fighting in the north, with each other winning or losing. But with Ginkaku joining the battlefield, the balance of victory and defeat suddenly tilted towards Kumo Hidden. As a frontline commander, Uchiha was defeated by the two brothers and retreated steadily. Facing the fierce enemy, he decisively abandoned his position to save the lives of more of his companions. After several battles, Konoha's casualties were not heavy, but the price was. The iron hooves of Kumogaku's large army had penetrated deep into the heart of the land of fire. Under the leadership of Mirror, the Konoha vanguard army retreated in full, and the entire army retreated to Mount Kikyo, guarding it to the death. This message was sent back to Konoha, and the top management immediately exploded. Many people are condemning Uchiha Kagami, believing that he is the culprit of frequent defeats. As a commander, he becomes more and more timid as he fights. He does not even have the consciousness to sacrifice. How can he hold the frontline position? After the meeting, these families who condemned the mirror were all sent to the front line by Tobarama, as the main reinforcements to rush to the Kikyo mountain front. If it were the former Tobarama, he would also join the team that reprimanded Uchiha Kagami but he suddenly remembered what Hashirama said to him before he died, and changed his mind. Konoha village, is never a place. Konoha where there are people is the real Konoha. This had to make him recognize this disciple a little more. Mirror, you are the true heir to my elder brother's will. Tobarama sighed as he looked out the window and frowned. Mirror has a very special habit. After each mission, he will carefully organize the mission details into notes in order to analyze the intelligence and review his shortcomings in the battle. No matter how small the details are, if he notices them, they will be recorded in the report in detail. At this moment, the thick stack of paper placed on Hokage's desk is the report compiled by Jing from more than a dozen battles, large and small. Obviously, Tobarama has read it over and over again several times. Are your pupils weak? He frowned and couldn't help but feel a touch of worry. According to Mirror's description, Mangekio Sharingan is on the road to blindness. Although his pupil technique is powerful, his pupil power is irrecoverable. The so-called pupil power refers to the power of the eyes. It is a kind of yin-style chakra formed by purely spiritual energy in the brain and fused with part of the body energy, which acts on the outside. After turning on the Mangekio Sharingan, Mirror's spiritual energy undergoes a qualitative change, so the yin-style chakra in his body also increases, which is why he will be promoted to a shadow-level powerhouse. Mirror's report clearly mentioned that every time he releases his pupil technique, his spiritual energy will skyrocket, and the yin-style chakra will become stronger and stronger. However, this energy has exceeded a certain limit. Once it reaches a certain critical value, it will it started to bite back at his body. This yin-style energy will accumulate little by little in the mind, starting from destroying the optic nerve, 
gradually eroding the physical body, and producing irreversible effects. The external manifestations are vision loss, optic nerve breakdown, and every cell in the body tingling like a needle. Of course, external pain is nothing compared to the destruction of the soul. Jing said in his own words that every time he releases his pupil technique, his heart will be filled with an uncontrollable desire for destruction, which will drive him crazy. Only by releasing the power can the spirit be satisfied, and after satisfaction is a long emptiness, stronger power must be released to fill this crazy throbbing. This cycle keeps going back and forth, and the price is that the vision becomes blurry day by day. Every time he fights the gold and silver brothers, he is fighting for his life. His eyesight has declined a lot. It is difficult to distinguish between male and female at 200 meters away, and he cannot tell the difference between humans and animals at 500 meters away. Kagami mentioned that the reason why Uchiha Shenyu is so obsessed with his Mangekio Sharingan is because only by transplanting the eyes of the blood relatives of the synchronization source can the eternal Mangekio Sharingan be opened. In this way, it can not only fuse the pupil power of another person, but also eliminate the impact on the user's body. Yin-style chakra will no longer damage the optic nerve, completely avoiding the side effects of vision loss and blindness. If that's the case, Tobarama was worried and looked gloomy. The mirror is a rare combat power on the front line, and it is also the only combat power. Moreover, the wreckage of Union Village has not yet taken action. Once the opponent personally goes to the battlefield, what can he, the Hokage, can do? If one day, the mirror really reaches its limit and his eyes are completely destroyed, what will he do? The only people in the village who can be counted as shadow-level combatants are Kagami and Hayuga Harukas. As the head of the Hayuga clan, Hayuga Harukas is better at guarding both in terms of personality and methods, so it is a wise move to stay in Konoha to guard the base camp. In other words, Konoha's current stability is maintained by Kyo's bloody battles on the front lines. Inexplicably, Hashirama's voice and smile came to mind. Perhaps, leaving the future to these children is the right decision. That morning, he looked down at the mountains and smiled so freely, feeling relaxed from the inside out. Tobarama was very sure that he had only seen that expression when Konoha was just founded. How cunning, you left in a hurry, but left this stall to me. Tobarama snorted secretly, and finally sighed quietly. If you want to keep the mirror's fighting power, you must keep his eyes, capture Uchiha Shenyu's eyes, and achieve eternity. But, this is obviously impossible. He had defeated his brother, and he was just saying he was the best in the world. With the current weak Konoha, what could he do? If it weren't for Jing's special eye skills, I'm afraid that guy would have succeeded long ago. To be honest, the reason why Tobarama is so worried is that one day Shen Yu will suddenly go crazy and end up participating in a battle. In that case, the entire ninja world will be turned upside down by him. Are you really going to try to transplant brother's flesh and blood into the mirror? In fact, he had thought about it a long time ago. Since Mangekio Sharingan can destroy the optic nerve and damage body cells, if these cells have the ability to continuously heal themselves like his elder brother, can he avoid the risk of blindness? But, I got this news from Uchiha Shenyu. He couldn't guarantee at all whether this guy would be a mastermind in the war, nor could he guarantee whether there was any conspiracy involved. But while his disciples were working hard outside, he, as a Hokage, could only hide in Konoha and survive, which also made him suffer inside. Although everyone in the village didn't say it, he could tell that some people already had some opinions about him as a Hokage. Although he still looked respectful on the surface, the subtle contempt in his eyes was already obvious to him. Brother, what should I do? Time passed little by little amid Tobarama's shame and entanglement. On the front line, since Konoha's large forces retreated to Mount Kikyo, the Kumo ninja's offensive has become much weaker. Perhaps it was because Commander Jing had a good command, or perhaps the enemy retreated in the face of difficulties. In short, the opponent's gold and silver brothers had already set up camp outside Platakoden Mountain and began a siege. This circle lasts for one week. At the end of the year, Jing personally led a troop out of the city to investigate. After careful investigation, he found that the enemy had blocked all the way forward. This also means that all Konoha's positions north of Mount Kikyo have fallen. 
Jing frowned and thought hard, the tactic of dividing his troops and seizing the position in a roundabout way was impossible. If he wanted to take back the hinterland, he could only fight to the death to break the formation. Hiruzhen, you and Danzo should return to their positions first. What? Seru Tobi Hiruzhen frowned and asked in confusion, what are you going to do? Just the day before yesterday, the disciples of Second Hokage, headed by Hiruzhen, rushed to the battlefield, and all orders were based on the commander Kagami. At first, a few people were a little unconvinced. Everyone was born at the same time, so why can you, Uchiha Mirror, be the only one? But when he saw the overwhelming strength of the Gold and Silver Brothers and the terrifying combat power unleashed by the Mirror Burst, all of them shut up obediently. The enemy only besieges but does not attack, so there must be a conspiracy. At this time, there are many dangers outside, so using the Flying Thunder God to teleport back is a good idea. Danzo said sinisterly, with undisguised malice inside and outside his words. Jing, are you not capable enough to lead people like us? Call me commander. Jing glanced at him and said, being a ninja requires you to be aware of your own mortality. Besides, I didn't ask you to charge into battle at all. Considering the strength of you elite Jonan, if you can't even return to the position, then I'm really sorry for the teacher who has spent so many years. Cultivated. King, what we are worried about is, what are you going to do? Kaharu pushed Danzo away from the bed, glared at him angrily, and then turned to look at King. You are the commander now, every move you make it's all about everyone's survival. Don't worry, I have the strength to protect myself. I just want to try to see if I can sneak into the enemy's base camp and perform a decapitation operation. Jing said word by word, but if I take you back, I will need to consume a lot of chakra. Then the decapitation operation would be impossible to carry out. What if something happens to you? Hiruzen frowned and said, I'll go with you so that we can take care of each other. What? Danzo immediately looked over as if he were a fool. Hiruzen, are you out of your mind? What kind of strength do you have? It's just adding to the chaos. Hiruzen's voice was slightly angry. I just want to do my part for the village. You can't put all the pressure on him alone. As soon as these words came out, several people immediately looked at each other. Danzo wanted to say something else, but when the words reached his lips, he swallowed them alive. I know that my strength is not as good as Mirror, at least I have the consciousness to sacrifice myself at any time. Hiruzen said firmly, this is my duty as a Hokage disciple. Okay, I will carry out the decapitation operation, and you guys will return to the base immediately. This is the commander's order. Jing shouted in a deep voice, and as Chakra mobilized, his momentum suddenly changed, extinguishing the emotions of everyone in the team instantly. Then, he looked at Hiruzen and his tone softened, don't worry, with my flying thunder god technique and eye technique, I can retreat at any time. After participating in the war for only a month, his temperament had undergone earth-shaking changes. He was no longer the meek and humble person he was before, and his eyes became a bit colder and iron-blooded. Everyone was shocked by his momentum and could only nod helplessly and set off to return to the Platycodon mountain position. The mirror, on the other hand, went in the opposite direction alone. At noon, a piece of news came back to Konoha, causing all the senior officials to fall into silence. In the Hokage building, you could hear needles dropping in the conference room. Everyone, including Senju Tobarama, stared at the letter on the table with complicated expressions, frowning and saying nothing. The atmosphere once dropped to freezing point, but no one was willing to stand up and break the calm. As time passed, Konoha's top management slowly fell into this unbearable quagmire. Just because. The news was, the Kumo Ninja's surprise attack force invaded the land of fire by sea and captured the eastern border in just half a day. The commander of this force is none other than the newly promoted second rakage from Kumo Hidden Village. So, Tobarama spoke, his voice suddenly hoarse, and he made a final struggle, send Hyuga Chunfeng, what do you think? Ah, this. The elder of the Shimura clan raised his hand, a little embarrassed. The strength of the Hyuga clan leader can indeed rival Kumogakur's second rakage, but if he leaves, there will be who can guard the village. What if? If the enemy makes a surprise attack, we will definitely die. The leader of the Abarame clan pushed up his sunglasses and added. 
Toborama silently clenched his fists, his knuckles were as pale as his face. Facing the sighing colleagues, he took a few deep breaths, as if he was mentally building himself up, his eyes changed several times, and he finally made up his mind. I'm sorry, if I... Boom. The door was pushed open, like the mud seal of a clay pot was lifted, letting in the cool breeze. Toborama suddenly raised his head and looked over with everyone. Uzumaki Mito stood in front of the door with a knife on her shoulder. The sunlight reflected the dazzling light on her armor. She looked around at the senior executives in the conference room and walked in quietly. The current matron of Konoha village still behaves elegantly and has a dignified manner, but she has shed her previous loose clothes and replaced them with a fully armed crimson layered armor. Her bright, watery red hair has been combed into a smart high ponytail, and the corners of her eyes lightly swiped with eyeshadow or slender, like crimson blades. Leave all the enemies of the Kumo Ninja's surprise attack force, including the second rakage, to me. She announced calmly, her tone as calm as if she was giving an order for a trivial matter. This. You are Shodai's widow, and you are Seven Tails Jinchuriki. I'm afraid it's not appropriate for you to fight against the enemy alone. Uzumaki Mito waited patiently for everyone to finish speaking, then stood beside Toborama and said slowly, I can understand everyone's good intentions, but I am also a member of Konoha. To me, this is not only is it my husband's lifelong effort, but we also carry the dream of generations of people who long for peace. I will never tolerate the village being destroyed by war like this. Her voice was firm, and although she was a woman, it was sonorous and powerful. What's more, there is no one more suitable than me in terms of ability or status. With her insistence, the senior officials stopped trying to dissuade her. Soon, she would lead a force to intercept the enemy and face the second rakage. After the meeting ended, everyone left one after another, and only Toborama and Mito were left in the huge conference room. Toborama, the current situation is completely different from before. Don't apologize to them at any time. Mito said softly. I. Even if you were really at fault, there is no need to apologize, because you are Hokage now. Mito said. If the military's morale is relaxed, it will shake the foundation. Toborama took a deep breath and nodded slightly, I understand. Also, don't try to use the technique of summoning the undead. There was a hint of sadness in Mito's eyes, Hashirama has fulfilled his wish. His life is complete. Let him stay in the pure land with peace of mind. I, don't want to see his disappointed eyes. Late at night, on the front line of Platakoden Mountain, the Kumo Ninja base camp. A ghostly figure shuttled among the wartime tents, as if entering a deserted land. Ignoring the patrolling guards, he looked like a rising and falling wild goose, walking away at the touch of a touch. Everyone he passed fell down silently, and was immediately swept into the trees. In just a moment, he approached the enemy's main tent. Uchiha Jing holds his breath, his body is low, and his sharp and calm eyes are like a cheetah ready to attack. In Sharingan's field of vision, the brightly lit curtain reflected the shadow of a person. It was a figure with two horns, lying on the military case. His strong body rose and fell rhythmically with his even breathing, as if he was sleeping soundly. The mirror locked onto that figure, kicked off his feet, and jumped out like a sharp arrow. He penetrated straight through the tent, and Susan's skeleton condensed a gleaming golden blade, instantly cutting the silver-haired figure in half. The momentum of the sword light continued unabated, splitting the entire tent into two. Bang! Jing's eyes condensed, and Yin Zhao's body turned into white smoke and dissipated. At the same moment, countless footsteps sounded outside the tent. The leader had a deep breath and blonde hair. He waved his hand, and hundreds of Kumo ninja dispersed in unison, surrounding Uchiha mirror. Jing slowly turned around, Mangekyo Sharingan bloomed with a sad red light under the moonlight, and the skeleton around him turned into golden light and dissipated, have you noticed me a long time ago? There are always people who ignore my delicate inner self because of my strong body. Jin Zhao raised his hand, fiddling with the kanai in his hand and the stones with special techniques left in his hands, ninjutsu is my talent, but sensing ninjutsu is also my hobby. Quote. That's. Jing narrowed his eyes slightly, the mark of the flying thunder god left by me. Jin Zhao let out a ferocious laugh, and with a fistful of his hands, the rocks fell into slag, and all the flying thunder god Kanai collapsed into iron filings. 
No nonsense, the battle is about to begin. Stab it. Behind Jin Zhao, two young ninjas swung their swords at the same time. The light of the swords swirled with messy arcs under the moonlight, but they did not slash towards the mirror, but all struck at Jin Zhao's majestic back muscles. The blade penetrated three-thirds of the flesh, and hot blood spattered and fell on the two dull faces. At the same time, the young ninja camp was in chaos, killing each other like crazy, swords fighting, sparks flying, and the thick blood soon dyed the earth red. Idiots, I told you not to look into his eyes. Jin Zhao turned back slowly, and at the same time opened his big hand to cover the heads of the two subordinates. Ma Yi, since you have been attacked yourself, you can't blame others. He exerted force with his five fingers, and the heads of the two subordinates suddenly shattered like watermelons, with blood splattering everywhere. He moved and slapped the Uchiha mirror with a big palm. When the palm movement was first raised, there was nothing abnormal, but in the process, a little dark red spread out from the palm, quickly covering the palms and arms, and then the whole person looked like a beast with its fur torn off, six long tails popped out of the body, with clear muscles and bright red bilu. There was a muffled sound of, bang, and Jing stood still, letting this palm slap on the top of his head. As countless afterimages emerged, he hugged the other person's arm with his backhand, golden light shone all over his body, and Yasaka launched a Magatama face release. The golden horn was immediately blown away. He stood up from the broken rocks, with dripping blood flowing from his abdomen and hot steam coming out. As the tailed beast chakra gathered, his injuries recovered as before. He roared and charged forward again. Jing was still waiting for him at the same place, but when Jin Zhao slapped his claws, the six long tails suddenly swung, and Jin Zhao's thick body touched the top of Jing's head like a dragonfly touching water, and landed on the top of the tent. HMPH, did you find it? Jing smiled slightly and took out two thick stacks of detonating charms from his pocket. The word, explosion, in the center burned together, but unfortunately, it is of no use. In an instant, a huge explosion swallowed him up, but the impact did not spread. All the firelight collapsed inward and condensed into a burning human shape, which was absorbed by the mirror. Immediately afterwards, golden light rippled, and a huge golden skull was projected from his body. The gaps in the bones were filled with flesh and blood, and the second order Suzano was instantly formed. It's not over yet. Jing stood among the half-length giants, clenching his fingers suddenly, and the energy accumulated in his body poured out. The air waves suddenly expanded, and the land was torn apart by the strong wind. Pieces of scale armor quickly armed the half-length giant and condensed it into the substantial Krotengu armor. The rich golden light burst out, and the entire Kumogakur base was as bright as day. Susanohu Third Order. At this moment, Jing's heart was filled with a strong desire for destruction. He did not suppress it as usual, but followed the feeling in his heart and allowed it to run rampant in his body. Golden streams of light gathered like a whale swallowing a cow, and the prototype of a long-handled weapon was looming, as if shrouded in a layer of mist. It was a slender scythe with a sharp blade, held in both hands by Suzano. Sacred weapon Dark Fang Wangquanjin. Suzano roared angrily, and swung his sickle across the sword, cutting off everything he passed. Piles of Kumo Ninja were cut to pieces in the golden light waves, and blood mist flew. This behemoth kills everyone in the crowd, and no one is his enemy. It is like a shining golden Shinigami, waving a sickle and harvesting the lives of countless ants. Soon, Jing regained his composure and reason, and what he just did was just a rampage and indiscriminate attack. He has not forgotten this mission. Destroying the enemy base is only the second most important thing. The most important thing is the, decapitation operation. But when he found Jin Zhao, he was suddenly dumbfounded. The dark red figure is now covered in an armor-like exoskeleton, and the tailed beast chakra all over his body explodes unabashedly. A black-tailed beast jade compressed to the extreme has torn the air and shot in a certain direction. Go. A beam of red light traveled thousands of meters in an instant, piercing through layers of sonic booms, exploding a mountain in the distance and igniting it. No. Jing opened his bloodshot pupils, that direction is. Platakoden Mountain. The golden horn did not stop erupting chakra, red and blue colors condensed in the air, and the second-tailed beast jade had already gathered in the mouth and shot out of the air. Kagami could no longer care about the enemy in front of him. At this moment, Suzano was holding a sickle in his hand. 
As long as he swung it towards the golden horn, he could cut off his head directly. But, he will also miss the opportunity to stop the tail beast Jade, leaving the corpses of his companions in Kikio Mountain. He made his decision almost instantly. Suzano disappeared almost inch by inch, and his whole person disappeared from the same place, appearing in front of the position outside Mount Kikio. Flying Thunder God Guiding Thunder. He tried his best to divert the several tailed beast jade shots that were shot one after another until he was exhausted and slowly fell down. Fortunately, the first tailed beast jade did not directly hit the Konoha base camp and did not cause too many casualties. However, it accidentally blew up the warehouse storing supplies, and countless grains, grass, and equipment were burned to the ground. There was a noisy sound in my ears, and the last moment I closed my eyes, I saw the figures of Hiruzen and En hurriedly helping me up, Kaharu's anxious expression, and, covering his head with blood gurgling, with an angry look on his face. Danzo. It's great, everyone is still alive. Above the night sky, a young man in black stood with his feet on the ripples and his hands behind his back. His eyes were clear, gazing at the Platycodon mountain in the distance, as if a god was overlooking the earth. His eyes finally fixed on Uchiha mirror, a faint smile flashed across the corner of his delicate and engraved mouth, and then turned around and disappeared, as if he had merged with the dark night. Fire Nation, Eastern Front. Under the leadership of Uzumaki Mito, the Konoha troops arrived at the position in less than half a day, and collided with the Kumogakur surprise attack troops who were attacking the city all the way. The two sides were at war with each other, and a fierce battle began as soon as they met. Stab, stab, stab. Aluta's whole body shone with thunder and lightning, and he stood out among the crowd. He rushed into the Konoha camp alone and rampaged around, like a human-shaped dump truck. Earth-style Earth-style wall. The three Jonan quickly formed seals and worked together to create a tall and thick earth wall, but it could not block Aluta's path at all. He did not even retreat but moved forward, smashing through the earth wall with just one speed increase. After being promoted to second rakage, he inherited the name of first rakage and changed it to, I, to implement rakage's beliefs. Aha. Uh -huh. His two thick arms seemed to be made of bronze and iron and they strangled the necks of the two Jonan in one confrontation, causing thick blood to float in the wind. He paused, plowed deep ravines on the ground, turned around and rushed towards the last Earth-style ninja. Water-style water wave technique. Earth-style Earth-style river. Friendly troops arrived from the side and rear in time, temporarily saving the ninja's life. The pool-like water and the raging mud flow converged, creating a powerful quagmire on the flat land with a radius of 100 meters, and Rakage's speed was also affected. Earth-style heavenly cap. The Jonan roared angrily. His potential was stimulated at the critical moment, and he slammed his hands on the ground. Second Rakage raised his head slightly, and a huge shadow enveloped him in the sky. The next second, a piece of earth with a diameter of 10 meters fell from the sky, accompanied by a violent roar, and muddy water splashed all over the sky. Did it. Are you stupid? That's rakage, get out of here. Sure enough, there was a huge banging sound from the pot lid printed with green-faced fangs, and it was full of cracks in less than three seconds. With a, boom, rakage crashed through the top lid, and a thunderous kanai instantly penetrated the pot lid. The head of an earth-style ninja. Righteous thunder axe. Rakage raised his right leg high, like a falling giant axe, and struck another reinforcement, creating a harsh scream in the air. Everyone was unable to dodge, and their attention was diverted by the kanai. Rakage's speed was simply too fast. Under the strong sense of oppression, they could only watch as he got closer and closer to them. Water-style water dragon bullet technique. Just hearing a loud dragon roar, a thick water dragon came from the side, pushing Rakage's unstoppable falling attack away by three feet, giving everyone room to hide. Boom. The ground shattered, but no one was injured. Several Jonan who had survived the disaster turned around and cast grateful glances at a boy of 17 or 18 years old. He saved, Gusuk. Well done. Rakage slowly turned back and locked onto the young man, it seems that you are the target that should be killed first. As chakra suddenly erupted, the thunder and lightning around him became more intense. The high intensity lightning activated cells throughout his body, allowing his speed to reach a terrifying level. 
The young boy Kosuke Maruhoshi just blinked, and a burly figure came in front of him, tearing the air with his flat hand knife. Lateral bolt of pain. Not good. At the critical moment, a slender hand was placed on his shoulder behind his back. With just a slight touch, Giugia was thrown away by the gentle but powerful force. In his vision blurred by the high speed, a graceful woman flashed past him. The red ponytail dances like an elf. Facing the lightning was a white jade hand. Boom. The two palms collided violently, and the air wave burst out violently, even the ground was torn apart and flew away. Rakage turned into a bolt of lightning and flew backwards. His feet scraped the ground and slid more than 10 meters away before stopping. He calmly shook his numb arm, and for the first time in his life, he was slapped away by a woman. Strange power. He narrowed his eyes slightly and looked at the heroic woman in front of him. Are you, the wife of the first Hokage, Uzumaki Mito? Mito's voice was cold, revealing the majesty of a superior. In the past, you called me Mr. Mito. Things are different now. Rakage responded angrily. Anyone who violates our country's borders will be punished. Mito's red lips opened slightly, and a powerful chakra emerged from his delicate body, turning into a translucent red coat. The rumors are true. You can indeed suppress the seven tails in your body at will. Rakage's eyes became more cautious. Mito didn't talk nonsense to him. His figure was agile and elegant, and a jade leg lifted up the afterimage like a long whip and threw it towards Rakage's head. Rakage immediately leaned over, dodged the whip leg while bending his knees and kicking the ground, and hit Mito's abdomen with his headbutt. This wild move vividly interpreted the Kumogakur village's consistent fighting style. At the critical moment, a pair of gigantic insect wings popped up from Mito's back. The whole body was crystal clear, like green emeralds. With just a slight flap, her figure moved sideways out of thin air and leaned back lightly. The lightning flashed, and Rakage's collision passed by the majestic twin peaks with every danger. Click. There was a flash of golden light, and under the cover of the insect wings, a dozen pale golden chains protruded from Mito's back and easily wrapped around Rakage's legs. Mito's wings shook out the afterimage, and he flew straight into the sky with Rakage. The chakra is sealed. Rakage's face turned livid, and the lightning-style chakra on his body slowly extinguished. Looking at the ground farther and farther away, he felt a sense of cruelty in his heart. He simply grabbed the chain and pulled hard using only his physical strength. As soon as the momentum slowed down, Mito's figure paused for a moment. It was at this moment that a huge bolt of lightning pierced the night sky, hitting the bodies of the two of them, and the roar of thunder almost shattered people's eardrums. Mito groaned, countless small arcs of electricity invaded the body surface, the body fell into a brief paralysis, and the chakra chain was loosened. Rakage took the opportunity to untie himself. The thunder and lightning just now not only did not hurt him, but also refreshed his spirit. Years of forging his body with thunder and lightning had already given him super high lightning resistance. On the contrary, Mito's delicate body fell uncontrollably and fell to the ground at the same time as Rakage. Mito landed in a standard, superhero style, landing posture, and his long, snow white legs suddenly appeared. Because of the tailed beast chakra on her body, she did not suffer much damage, but her armor was severely damaged. She immediately burst out chakra and dispersed the lightning that invaded her body. The thick smoke in front of her eyes instantly dispersed to both sides, but Rakage rushed in front of her again. The light blue lightning illuminated a pair of calm beautiful eyes in her pretty face. Rakage's reaction was very sharp, his eyes moved down, and he suddenly discovered that there were black spells spreading out from his palms. In just a moment, the black runes were outlined into some kind of array pattern, covering his whole body. What? His pupils shrank, is it that time? He suddenly remembered that he had slapped Mito before. Sealing techniques self-inflicted curse. Rakage secretly knew something was wrong. The magic technique on his body suddenly shone brightly, and a strange feeling came from his body. His whole body seemed to be petrified and out of control. At this moment, a faint fragrant breeze passed by, and Mito had already punched and gathered his strength, and suddenly appeared in front of him. Suddenly, an invisible hurricane tore through the earth and blocked Rakage like a wall of wind. Mito had to retreat and defended, and was blown 10 meters away by the strong wind. A figure fell next to Rakage. 
He was burly with silver hair, with two horns on his head, a rebellious signature smile on his face, and a crimson feather fan in his hand. Silver horn. Mito frowned slightly, unable to help but feel doubts in his heart. Shouldn't he, be on the front line of Mount Kikio? However, since it appears here, it doesn't matter. She calmed down, picked a soft branch, and tied up her loose red hair again. As he lowered his hands, the rich-tailed beast chakra enveloped his body again, his war skirt fluttered, and he moved automatically without wind. Secret the art of hidden scales and pinks. She opened her fresh red lips, and countless grains of glittering scales flew away with the strong wind, wrapping up a large area of cloud ninja in the blink of an eye. In the early morning, the sky was just bright, and the faint morning light shined through the dark clouds on the earth, coating the dark blue sky with a layer of warm color. Jing rubbed his eyelids and walked out of the tent. After a few hours of rest, his physical condition had recovered to a certain extent. He stretched out, yawned in the fresh and slightly cold air, and exhaled bursts of white mist. People were coming and going outside the tent, and all the Konoha ninjas were in a hurry. Last night, Golden Horn's tailed beast Jade blew up the granary and weapons depot, and part of the barracks was also affected. Maintenance tasks and cleanup work were in full swing. Jing rubbed his eyes, suspecting that he had seen it wrong. There were many more people in the camp at this moment, hundreds of new camping tents were added to the barracks, and familiar clan emblems came into view. Nara, Yamanaka, Akamaiki, Hayuga, Abarame. Are there reinforcements? If they are just reinforcements, this lineup is a bit too luxurious. Isn't it okay over there in the village? Jing Man asked, I accidentally over-rested. In the distance, Yan and Kaharu, who were responsible for the cleaning task, were very busy. Donzo's head was wrapped with a thick bandage, his face was gloomy, he said nothing, and he didn't know what he was thinking. Fortunately, here is Inseru Tobi, who was helping to carry the supplies, noticed him and ran over quickly, Mirror, how are you recovering? Almost, but I need to finish writing the mission report before I can help you organize the position. Jing nodded, suddenly feeling a little ashamed, I'm sorry, I could have taken the opportunity to kill Jin Zhao last night, but I still hesitated. Don't blame yourself. You gave up the, decapitation operation, for the sake of your comrades in the camp. Everyone understands. Hiruzen's expression changed and he asked more, is there anything unusual, over there with the Kumo ninja? There are no changes in general, it's just. Jing frowned, Yin Zhao seems to be missing. Logically speaking, as long as the two brothers join forces, I can't stop them at all. But for some reason, I never saw Yin Zhao last night. Corner shot. Is there another agenda? Or is it just a mystery? No, I have to send this information back to Konoha. Thinking of this, he immediately turned around and walked into the tent, preparing to write a mission report. Hiruzen seemed to have remembered something and called him quickly, Mirror, there was an urgent message from the intelligence class this morning. The teacher asked you to go back to the village. Back to the village. Jing was stunned for a moment, and then he instantly figured out the cause and effect. The extra reinforcements in the camp this morning were probably here to replace him in guarding the camp. Thinking of this, he did not dare to neglect, and immediately activated the, flying thunder god technique, and returned to Konoha. Dot dot dot. In front of the Hokage building, next to the stone lion at the door, Uchiha mirror appeared out of thin air and hurriedly entered the Hokage office. He's back. Senju Toborama turned around slowly. After not seeing him for a few days, he seemed much older. Jing nodded, teacher, the war on the front line is tense. You summoned me back at such an emergency period. Did something happen to the village? Toborama sighed softly and recounted exactly what happened in the conference room yesterday. Only then did Jing know that the reason why he didn't see Ginkaku last night was because he had secretly moved to another front and was invading the land of fire by sea with the Kumo Ninja's surprise attack force, and second rakage was also in this team. Just when everyone in Konoha was in a downturn, Mito Sama stood up. She took off her loose clothes, tied up her hair, put on a helmet, and went into battle wearing armor. She led the army to face the enemy as Seven Tails Jinchuriki, showing off her heroic demeanor. In Toborama's explanation, she relied on Seven Tails' unique air superiority capabilities on the eastern battlefield to contain the enemy's surprise attack force with one against two. 
Relying on Seven Tails Jinchuriki's special skills, her scale pink hidden technique worked wonders on the battlefield, blinding enemies in large numbers and including the tailed beast Yukora's ground attack, which caused a lot of damage to the enemy. Harm. The beating made second rakage curse and curse, and the beating made Yinjiao cower in the ground and dare not show up. Her heroic appearance also boosted morale. The Konoha ninjas fought bravely to kill the enemy, not only blocking the iron hoofs of the Kumo ninja surprise attack force, but also pushing back the battle line and regaining some of their positions. Mito Sama is worthy of being Hashirama Sama's wife. This courage and courage are beyond the comparison of juniors like us. Jing sighed sincerely, and a look of admiration appeared on his face. Teacher, why did you come back to me? Toborama walked to the front of Jing, and Jing realized that his expression was already so tired. His previous sharp and courageous aura no longer existed, but instead showed a hint of twilight. Mirror, I have to admit that you are my most outstanding disciple and the true successor of the will of fire. Do you have the consciousness to sacrifice for the future of Konoha? Of course. Jing heard the seriousness in Toborama's tone and immediately pointed to the forehead protector on his head, since the day I put it on, I have had the awareness to die at any time. If one day, you were asked to choose between the fate of your tribe and the life of your village, what would you choose? Toborama reached out and held the back of his head, forcing him to look into the eyes, look into my eyes and tell me your answer. Quote. Jing said without any hesitation, my tribe is also a companion. The village I want is a real family with no barriers between each other and full of peace. In my eyes, there is no difference between my tribe and my companions. I will treat them equally. What if one day, you have to make a choice between strong power and companions? Toborama paused, don't answer me immediately, you must know that strong power is also a prerequisite for protecting the village. Jing smiled slightly, and the smile was full of indifference, this has never been an option. If the price of saving the village is giving up power, doesn't it just mean that my power has protected the village? Toborama looked stunned. For some reason, the smile of the person in front of him was so similar to that of his brother that day. For a moment, he even had a vision of Hashirama's face. Years of combat experience and intuition told him that he had not been hit by Genjutsu, so. Kagami was indeed the successor of Hashirama's will, and he already had the potential to be a Hokage. For a moment, his eyes were full of complexity. After so many years of establishment of Konoha, the first junior with such qualifications and abilities to appear is actually from the Uchiha clan. With an obscure look in his eyes, he asked the last question in a solemn tone. If one day, the interests of the village must be sacrificed to save your companions, what would you choose? A village only has companions, otherwise Konoha will only be an empty shell full of calculations. This is by no means my ideal piece. Jing responded immediately, expressing his inner thoughts, I will choose to save without hesitation. Companion, this is what I have always done. Toborama took a deep breath and took two steps back. In Jing's stunned expression, this thoughtful second Hokage, who had been fighting for many years, actually patted his shoulder with relief. Mirror, I now declare as the second Hokage that if one day I am no longer here, then you will be the third Hokage of Konoha village. Konoha village, an unknown underground base. This is Senju Toborama's personal laboratory. This facility is located in the core area of Konoha Hidden Village. It is large in scale and surrounded by dense woods, which not only ensures the privacy of research work, but also facilitates the development of ninjutsu or various experiments. Uchiha Mirror followed Toborama up the stairs and pushed open the secret doors one after another until he entered the empty laboratory, still recovering from the shock. Teacher, approved me. He wants me to be the Hokage. He was a little absent-minded, and Toborama's sincere expression and gratifying words kept replaying in his mind, and he just followed him into the laboratory mechanically, so that he ignored the surrounding scene. Click. Toborama pulled down the switch, connected the circuit, and several rows of bright yellow headlights lit up, making the dark laboratory immediately appear. Jing finally calmed down and began to look around subconsciously, feeling a strong sense of disobedience in his heart. The first thing that comes into view is a huge central console, which is covered with flashing screens and buttons, connected to various experimental equipment through sophisticated circuits. The special sealing device, chakra analysis instrument, 
in more than a dozen unnamed biochemical experimental equipment used for ninjutsu development. If Toborama hadn't introduced them next to him, he would have even thought they were some kind of combat machinery. Dust floats in the beam, and the air is filled with the strange smell of metal and potion. Rows of refrigerators and file cabinets pass by on both sides like a horse. Through the glass cabinets, you can see various test tubes and culture systems, dish with colorful reagents. Jing only felt dazzled. He was now in the center of the laboratory. Going further inside, the interior of the laboratory is divided into multiple well-organized areas, such as the rest area, the herbal medicine area, the training area. Listening to Toborama's casual introduction, it seems that each area has a different function. Jing opened his mouth wide and looked at his teacher in surprise, as if he was meeting him for the first time. Although the laboratory is equipped with advanced technological equipment, Toborama still retains some traditional elements, such as the Senju clan emblem, ninja tools, and some ancient scrolls and books hanging on the wall. This made Jing slightly relieved and realized that he was indeed still in the ninja world. He has nothing to say. He has seen too many things that he cannot understand today. If he had to sum it up in one sentence, Toborama's research institute is simply a model of the combination of biology, technology, and ninjutsu. In a certain cultivation room, he even saw lava. In the rolling heat wave, there was a dark purple plant growing, with branches growing horizontally, growing out of what looked like clusters of thorns, and a faint black air steaming from the surface. The air was twisted and the heat could be felt through the glass. That's the Anakaphila plant. Although it looks ugly, it's the key to our experiment. Toborama paid attention to his gaze and explained, the solution in the Anakaphite plant can easily and effectively reduce the body's rejection reaction. This is a kind of penetration and integration based on the genetic level. Soon, Toborama took him to the core of the laboratory. The moment he pushed the door in, Jing was dumbfounded and dumbfounded. What did he see? In a huge tank in the deepest part of the room, the buried first Hokage was quietly soaking in the green solution. His eyes were closed, his face was peaceful, and his long black hair was like seaweed. Scattered. There is a thick stack of experimental materials on the workbench next to it, and the walls are covered with charts and data from eight gates. It is obvious that a certain research has been carried out to a certain extent. Sense. Teacher. Jing opened her eyes wide and pointed at the glass jar in the distance with trembling, this is. Toborama sighed softly, being a Hokage requires strength. However, your current strength mainly comes from the pair of Mangekio Sharingan. Once you become blind, your strength will instantly drop. Your information reminded me that if the vitality contained in my brother's cells can be transferred to your body, you may be able to rely on self-healing factors to continuously repair your optic nerve, thus avoiding the risk of blindness. Listening to Toborama's story, Jing still found it unbelievable, teacher, can you even do such a thing? The question is not whether I can do it, but whether you, can accept it. Toborama said calmly, I can't guarantee that the experiment will be successful. If it fails, your life and Konoha will be together. Die. It seems that the teacher has handed over the village to me in disguise. Jing took a deep breath and said, come on then. As long as I can win this war and protect more of my companions, I'm not afraid of failure. Only he knows his physical condition best. Every time he uses Mangekio Sharingan's eye surgery, both his vision and physical strength are decreasing day by day. He doesn't know how long he can hold on, three months. One month. If things go on like this, one day he will eventually become completely blind. Toborama opened the refrigerator, and with the spurts of cold air, he took out a small bottle of golden solution as if it were a treasure. The test tube shook, and layers of pale golden ripples appeared under the light. This is the genetic fluid that I spent several weeks extracting from the cells in my brother's body. Toborama carefully held the test tube. Our ultimate goal is to inject it into your body and connect it with your whole body. The cells above and below merge to regenerate genes, thereby completely inheriting his power. Jing's pupils contracted unconsciously, and he felt the vigorous vitality in this small bottle of solution. The pure vitality was as strong as the blazing sun. He even had an intuition that if the solution was dripped into the soil, a towering tree would rise from the ground in an instant. If all the solution was spilled, a dense forest would be created in an instant. 
he really couldn't imagine what terrible things would happen if he put this bottle of solution into his body now. Either burn to ashes, or turn into a tree. Don't worry, of course not now. Toborama returned the genetic fluid to the refrigerator and locked the cabinet doors layer by layer. In the next three days, I will also extract your genetic fluid from you, analyze and compare the differences, and then supplement it with a special fusion agent. Try to integrate the two. By constantly adjusting and blending the concentration of the genetic fluid until it is assimilated into the one that best suits you. After all the samples are perfectly integrated, the injection of genetic fluid will begin. This is destined to be a long process, and we may have to endure countless failures. Toborama's gaze penetrated his eyes, with trusting firmness in his tone, no matter what the final result is, I, and the entire Konoha village, will put everything on you. Jing nodded solemnly. First of all, I need to check your current physical condition and comprehensively measure your current physical fitness. Three days later, Toborama had a light red solution in his hand. Teacher, is this all right? In the research institute, Jing sat up from the experimental bed and moved his shoulders. He knew that he was still needed on the Platakoden mountain front line. On the side, Toborama, who was wearing a white coat, waved his hand, don't rush now. If we really encounter a dangerous situation, the intelligence team will send an emergency message. It's not too late for you to rush over. Since the decapitation operation, that night, Kumogaker's troops had temporarily given up on attacking the city, and instead strengthened the defenses and blocked the front, which made the battle on Mount Kikio a lot easier. I don't know if it was Night Mirror's surprise attack that had its effect, or if Golden Horn had another plan. Come and see what we have accomplished these days. Toborama asked him to get out of bed, and together they came to the experimental table. The two of them observed the first fusion phenomenon of the genetic fluid through the thick glass. Under vacuum conditions, a drop of light red liquid fell on the glassware. Jing knew that it was his genetic liquid. In order to witness this moment, he solemnly opened the three Magatama Sharingan, not wanting to miss any details. Toborama operated the mechanical dropper and dropped a drop of light blue solution into the vessel. It merged with the genetic fluid of the mirror. Visible to the naked eye, the droplet turned into deep purple little by little without any obstruction. That's the leaf juice extracted from the Goyaluo plant. How about it? It's magical, isn't it? Toborama stared at the droplet intently and explained at the same time, theoretically, it can be fused with anyone's blood, but this is actually an extremely dangerous thing. If the volume ratio is not mastered well, it will be fatal. Of. Immediately afterwards, Toborama carefully extracted a drop of golden solution from the refrigerator, and at the same time operated the machine to hang it above the container, tapping it with his fingers. The droplets are like dewdrops on the leaves, rolling down suddenly. Bang! With a sharp explosion, white mist filled the air, two drops of genetic fluid exploded at the same time, and even the glass was shaken into cracks. Jing was stunned. Under Sharingan's dynamic vision, he saw the process clearly. The moment the two drops of solution came into contact, the surface of the liquid trembled crazily, and white mist evaporated due to the high temperature. It was like pouring concentrated sulfuric acid into water, boiling violently, splashing and flying, evaporating everything. All. Oh. It's hard to imagine what would happen if Hashirama's genetic fluid was directly injected into his own body. At this time, Toborama patted his shoulder, which made his eyes look a little more volatile. Don't be surprised, it's completely within my expectation. Toborama said in a deep voice, experiments are just like that, boring and long. Jing turned back and smiled bitterly, I was naive. I even thought that as long as I gritted my teeth and held on, I could survive the devastation of the genetic fluid on my body. Don't worry, once this experiment is completed, injecting the genetic fluid will not cause you any pain. It is as simple as injecting glucose. Toborama said calmly, survey sampling is one of the common methods of experiments. This experimental method is to avoid this situation. Looking in the mirror, still half understood, Toborama pondered for a moment and concluded, you just need to remember that there are three steps in this experiment. The first step is to fuse your genetic fluids with each other. This is the most difficult. It requires constant adjustment of the ratio of the fusion agent and countless repeated experiments. The second step is to match the cell samples. 
In short, it is to inject the prepared genetic fluid into your cell sample. This is also a quite complicated process and requires a large amount of data to support it. This last step is the real end. Inject the genetic fluid directly into your blood vessels. You only have one chance. If you don't succeed, you will be successful. Tobarama glanced at the mirror, but you don't have to worry too much. If the first two steps are completed successfully, there will be no problems with the third step. The probability of perfect integration is as high as 98%. Next, Tobarama continued the experiment, muttering, not only to the mirror, but also to himself. The concentration of Goiluo juice needs to be adjusted, and the solubility ratio of the genetic fluid is also very different. In the next week, no urgent news came from the front line. It was as if everyone had gone back to celebrate the new year. Although they were still fighting against each other, the battlefield became strangely quiet, which was almost absurd. In fact, the initiative in the war has always been in Union's hands. They temporarily stopped attacking, and they did not dare to counterattack from the Kikyoshin position. Without the coach, their goal was just to defend the camp. Kagami had a rare few days of leisure, and spent the New Year's festival in the village. After a few days, there was little progress in the progress of the experiment, but this boy's luck was slowly improving, and it was improving by leaps and bounds. Just when he was patrolling the streets, there were many pregnant girls circling around him, including ladies from all walks of life, blatantly making secret glances. The threshold of the home was almost leveled, and the cracks in the door were filled with invitations from various major families. Jing could only smile bitterly, but after thinking about it for a moment, he figured out the reason. When the war came, a strong enemy was domineering, but Konoha was unable to fight it. When life and death were at stake, he stepped forward and led the vanguard to fight against the enemy. With one against two, he not only regained the morale of the army, but also defeated Konoha. Style. What's more, he is only 18 years old this year. Today, he is not only top-notch in terms of appearance and strength, but he is also a direct disciple of Second Hokage and a member of the Uchiha clan. With these conditions added together, who can not be tempted? These days, Tobarama seems to have announced his intention to call him the third Hokage. It is precisely because of this that people who had ignored him before started to smile, and the olive branches he threw out could be piled up into a Christmas tree. But there is a saying that goes well. Coming here with admiration at the peak will never be as good as never leaving at the bottom. I don't know whether it was a long-standing love or the tense atmosphere of the war that acted as a catalyst. Kagami soon developed a rapid relationship with Uchiha Yuko, the biological sister of the Uchiha clan leader. On the last day of the New Year festival, Kaoru and a petite figure cuddled up against each other on the Hokage rock, sitting and looking at the stars in the sky, watching bouquets of fireworks lighting up the New Year's night sky. Stars of fireworks shot into the sky and exploded into a flash of brilliance. They were like colorful Madara elves, rotating, spreading, blooming, or fluttering like catkins, or like peonies in full bloom, reflecting each other in the sky, as if the entire universe was boiling at this moment. It would be nice if there was no war. Yuko murmured softly, her dark eyes lit up by the gorgeous fireworks. Yes. Jing sighed, and suddenly his eyes moved, Yuko, if I said that I only had a few years to live, would you still be with me? Fool, how many times do I have to tell you before you understand? Yuzi raised her head, held up Jing's cheek with her white hands, her eyes were deep and meaningful, I like you, no matter what happens in the future, I will be with you. Jing held her little hand, and there was more determination in his eyes, I will definitely protect the village and everyone. No matter how difficult the road ahead is, at least in my limited time, I will win this game. War. Yuzi looked at his handsome side face, his eyes misty and glistening, King Kun, I believe you. The two looked at each other. At this moment, everything was silent. They only had each other in their eyes. In the colorful Hanabi flying in the sky, they moved closer to each other and kissed each other gently. Canabi Bridge Base. Taking advantage of the New Year Festival, Shenyu and Guang, who were far away in the Kingdom of Thunder, rushed back in time and had a New Year's Eve dinner with Madara. Thousands of lights and fireworks were set off outside the base, and the aroma was filled with fragrance inside the base. Twelve hard dishes were piled on the long table. 
Of course, most of the dishes are made by Shen Yu, but Uchiha Madara also contributed a wave of cooking skills. The brightly colored braised pork dish is his ingenuity. The lifelike humanoid radish carving beside the table is Uchiha's final stubbornness. She specially carved the image of three people holding hands. The one in the middle is Madara wearing Uchiha uniform, and on either side are the petite 13-year-old Kamiha, and the slightly taller Hikari. The meticulous knife work makes the carvings clearly layered and highly three-dimensional. Just looking at the vivid expressions of the statues shows the meticulousness of the sculptor. This kind of work can definitely be called a work of art in ordinary times. But, it always looks a little weird when served to the table. Old Madara tried not to look at it, and even moved his stool silently. Shen Yu was eating quietly, and every time the chopsticks were turned towards the carved flowers, Guang would open her beautiful eyes expectantly. However, when she found that the chopsticks were falling elsewhere, the joy in her eyes immediately extinguished, and she bit the spoon pretending not to care. You too, did the plan go smoothly? Madara broke the silence. Shen Yu picked up a piece of braised pork and put it into the bowl, everything is under control. We didn't even take action, nor did we have any intervention. We just started, and they started beating each other to death, which became more and more violent. Guang's voice was cold, I heard that the fighting in Wuin village and Yenian village was more fierce than here. The shadows are over. HMPH, I've said before that this is destined to be a wrong path. Only infinite Tsukuyomi is the only path to peace. Madara sneered, and her voice suddenly became a little lonely, I really want to pull out Hashirama and let him take a good look at the current world. Shen Yu suddenly said, if the plan goes well, there may be a day like this. Madara and Hikari looked over at the same time. Kumogukur hasn't exerted his strength yet. As the scale of the war expands, sooner or later Tobarama will jump over the wall in a panic. Shen Yu smiled softly, who knows, one day, he will use the, dirty earth reincarnation technique. Resurrection of Senju Hashirama from the pure land. Madara was stunned for a moment, then took a sip of tea, it's meaningless. That technique is not a true resurrection at all. Even if Hashirama is resurrected, he is just a lifeless zombie. He raised his chopsticks and suddenly found an excited gaze looking directly over him. Only then did he realize that his chopsticks had subconsciously fallen in the direction of the carved plate. Ahem. Madara coughed slightly, and in order to respond to Guang Xiaolu's ardent expectations, he had to slowly reach for the plate of dishes, but he had a problem when choosing which humanoid carving to put. The chopsticks paused stiffly in midair. Madara tentatively moved the chopstick head while observing Hikaru's expression. When it stopped on top of, Madara's head, Hikari frowned slightly. When it stopped on the top of, Light's head, Guang's little mouth bulged slightly. When he picked up the, God feather, the light burst out into a smile, and the clouds cleared and the rain fell. Click. Madara bit off, Shen Yu's, head in one bite, and the mouth was crunchy and crispy. Shen Yu's neck felt cold and she couldn't help but swallow her saliva. Under Guang's oppressive gaze, Shen Yu had no choice but to move his chopsticks. At the same time, his mind was racing and he chose to pick up the, light, carvings. Noticing that the smile on Guang Chao's face had not disappeared, he breathed a sigh of relief, dipped a little in the salad dressing, and then swallowed it in one gulp. Only then did Guang put up the last piece of, Madara, with a smile, bite it with his silver teeth, and behead it immediately. Madara took a quick glance and drank tea silently. After eating and drinking, Guang took the initiative to clear away the dishes, showing the excellent qualities of a virtuous and beautiful girl, and went to the kitchen to wash the dishes. While she was not in the stone room, Madara called Shen Yu to her side and asked quietly, Did you, prepare any gifts for her this new year? Um, a gift. They helped you implement the plan without saying a word, and you didn't even show any sign. Madara glanced at him with a look of contempt, sometimes, you are really slow. After Madara's suggestion, Shen Yu blushed and realized something was wrong, otherwise, I invite her to watch the fireworks, the most expensive and beautiful ones in the city. Do you think she is the kind of girl who likes romance? This kind of romance is not suitable for her. Madara shook her head angrily, it's really useless. After all these years, you don't know what she likes. Madara-sama, please give me an idea. The old god Madara lay back on the ground, 
with a confident smile on his lips, he is just a resolute person, which is even better than many men. Girls of this type naturally like swords, weapons, and ninja tools. Ah. Ah what? Have you forgotten the surprise when she received the flame fan and sickle? This. Believe me, give her your, frost heart, and she will definitely be very happy. Shen Yu thought about it, but it was unreliable. No, Madara-sama, you are a bachelor who has been solo for 46 years, how can you find the confidence to teach me how to chase girls? Suddenly, his expression moved slightly, and there was some strange feeling in his heart. Under the influence of the psychic contract, he noticed that there was a will calling him in the distance. It's Zesuk. He stood up immediately, preparing to answer the call, is there something wrong with the Iron Kingdom? At this time, the light has finished the dishwashing work, and water style, combined with exquisite control, will make all the discs as clean and shiny as new in minutes. She asked doubtfully, why are you going? There seems to be something wrong with Zesuk. They won't summon me until necessary. Shen Yu explained quickly and left in a hurry. Them. You mean over there in the kingdom of iron. Wang said thoughtfully. During the six years of seclusion, Shen Yu was channeled only once in the Forging Sword Studio, and that time was late at night. The reason is that an unknown and powerful ninja sneaked into the Chamber of Commerce headquarters with the intention of assassinating Maya Niwa, but they were discovered by the astute Zesuk, who used the reverse psychic technique in time. After Shen Yu passed by, he easily captured these assassins alive. Under Genjutsu's interrogation, they turned out to be wandering ninjas hired by other jealous powerful people. That night, he personally went to the daming mansion of the Kingdom of Iron. The daimyo, who was sleeping soundly, suddenly woke up. When he saw the cold tip of the knife hanging on his forehead, his eyes immediately bulged, and he felt like he was dead. In shock, he saw Shen Yu's familiar face clearly and heard a cold word. Some people's claws have stretched a little too far and it's time to chop them off. Single quote. Since then, no one in the entire Iron Country has dared to trouble the sword forging studio, and Shen Yu has been free for a long time. Haha, ha, someone dares to take advantage of the new year to cause trouble. It seems that his paws are itchy again. Shen Yu smiled slightly coldly. He wanted to see which stupid young man with no eyesight actually thought that taking advantage of the war period you can take advantage of it. Etc. Wang stretched out his snow white catkins and put them on Shen Yu's shoulders, this time, I will accompany you. Before Shen Yu could react, the counter spiritual technique was activated instantly, and the two of them turned into white smoke and disappeared. Behind him, old Madara silently retracted his stretched out palm. He, actually wanted to go out with him to see the excitement, and even with his mask on, he said. They are all blind, but the blind spots are good. The Kingdom of Iron, Takeo City, Forged Tool Studio Headquarters. In a luxuriously decorated and splendid hall, as a puff of white smoke dispersed, two figures appeared in front of Ninja Zesuk at the same time. Shen Yu looked around lightly, and was slightly startled. He was surrounded by people, and almost all the core members of the sword forging studio were here. It seemed that the trouble this time was not small. After not seeing each other for a few years, everyone's appearance has changed a lot. Niwa Maya looks older, her face has gone through changes, there are fine wrinkles at the end of her eyes, and her back is slightly bowed, but her deep eyes look more and more shrewd. His eldest disciple, Ryu Jisuk, has thick eyebrows, big eyes, and a shiny bald head that is very conspicuous in the crowd. He has a beard and looks more rugged, but he also reveals a touch of calmness. Niwa Yukino is still dressed in white clothes and white skirt, with a voluptuous and graceful figure. This time she does not wear a veil, and her makeup is exquisite and stunning. The corners of her eyes are lightly outlined with a charming crimson color, which further shows the charm of a mature woman. Sugawara Glass has no other changes. She has a Lolita face that does not match her figure at all, and a linen short shirt that is about to burst. She is shaky when she walks. Others, slightly. Who is this time? Shen Yu pressed the knife with one hand and asked with a frown. Ah, uh, well. Niwa Maya coughed a few times and leaned forward on crutches. Young master, since that time four years ago, no one has dared to cause trouble to the Chamber of Commerce. Quote. Ryunosuke followed with an apologetic smile and said, Yes, yes, they all succumbed to your unparalleled Kamui, young master, and did not dare to make mistakes. 
What's more, the Shogunate also gave a strong support. Shen Yu frowned slightly, turned around and asked, If it's okay, why are you channeling me? They asked me to do it. I was just following orders, meow. Zesuk waved his hand, curled up his tail, and licked the dried fish to eat. Actually, we want to formally thank you, young master, for your help over the years. Shueno Ren moved lightly, came to Shen Yu, and said softly, Shen Yu Kun, everyone wants to thank you. This. Only then did Shen Yu realize that the hall was decorated with great grandeur tonight. The golden marble tiles were luxurious and striking, complementing the vermilion carpet. The texture of the walls was clearly visible. The curved dome was painted with silver and gold and inlaid with stars. The crystal clear crystal lamp exudes soft light. Not far away, delicacies hundreds of times richer than those at the base were displayed on a round table. The hot pot in the middle was still simmering on a low fire, and the gurgling heat sent the spicy aroma to every corner of the hall. Oh, if I had known earlier, I would have brought Madara-sama here. Shen Yu smacked his lips. Shen Yu Kun, come on. Shueno suddenly took a step forward, his eyes gleaming. Shen Yu took half a step back slightly. Shueno was too close, and the faint fragrance hit his nostrils, making him slightly uncomfortable. Call. A flame fan stood between the two of them. The wide fan directly separated Shen Yu and Yukino. You woman, why don't you have any sense of boundaries? Guang raised his chin, his beautiful eyes filled with dangerous energy. Just talk, why are you so close? Shen Yu instantly noticed that someone was in a bad mood, but despite this, she did not burst out chakra randomly, because she knew that the other person was an ordinary woman with no power. This sister is. Yukino blinked. My name is Uchiha Hikari. It turns out to be Sister Guang. Yukino nodded with a smile, puffing up her proud chest intentionally or unintentionally. He, like me, is a disciple of Master Madara. Shen Yu carefully opened the flame fan and gave Guang a probing look, although we have already eaten, since they have kindly prepared dinner, we can't brush it aside. To save your face, then, just eat something simple. It doesn't matter. Guang Hao turned his wrist slightly, put away the flame fan lightly, and put it back behind him. Everyone took their seats, and as the table turned, a slightly embarrassing dinner party began. This seat is very interesting, because there is only one main seat, which was originally prepared by Shen Yu. Logically speaking, the main seat should be flanked by the family leader Niwamaya, and his eldest disciple Ryunosuke. But when Shen Yu sat down, Guang directly sat on the left side of Shen Yu. Maya was a little embarrassed and moved to the right with a cane, but a beautiful figure in white sat down lightly, and his beloved daughter was on the right side of Shen Yu. The half-century-old Chamber of Commerce president, a person with a disability, had to continue to move his seat, and finally sat directly opposite Shen Yu. After a few simple greetings, everyone started to feast. The lively atmosphere in the boiling hot pot made everyone enjoy the meal. Anyway, Shen Yu felt like he was sitting on pins and needles. On the left, Yukino poked her head and asked in a soft voice, How old is your sister this year? Shen Yu almost spit out a mouthful of fruit wine. It's very impolite to ask someone's age rashly. Guang responded lightly, Didn't your father teach you? My mother died when I was very young. Sorry, I didn't mean it. It's okay, I took the liberty. Shueno smiled gently, I still don't know what the relationship between you and the young master is. This time, Shen Yu bit the iron key in one bite and chewed it without noticing. Guang was stunned, and the slices of meat he just picked up fell into the bowl again. Yukino narrowed her bright eyes, as if she had found an opportunity to counterattack, is it possible that you are already private partners for life? No, not yet. Shen Yu and Guang spoke at the same time, bashing and whirring. The two looked at each other, blushed and looked away, pretending that nothing happened. Oh, so that's it. Yukino pretended to be surprised and covered her mouth, young master is young and promising, and my sister Guang is also handsome and smart. I feel pity for you. I thought, hey, this little girl is presumptuous and deserves to be punished. The punishment. The banquet ended quickly because both Shen Yu and Guang felt embarrassed. Faced with everyone's attempts to stay, they tacitly declined politely. Before leaving, Shen Yu went to the back kitchen to select several good dishes and stored them in seal scrolls, preparing to take them back to old Madara to try. 
Explosions went off one after another, and colorful Madara fireworks bloomed in the night sky. The two walked side by side on the deserted street. It's like I have a lot to say, but I don't know where to start, so I'm just silent. Because of that, not yet, just now, Uchiha is still blushing and obediently clasping his hands behind his back, not daring to look at Shen Yu. She lowered her head and looked at her navy blue ninja boots. Time and time again, her slender white feet were exposed from the hem of her skirt and she rubbed them forward step by step. Light. Shen Yu spoke softly, breaking the silence. Um, I want to, give you a gift. Okay, E.H. A gift. Wang raised his little face, a little confused, what gift? Shen Yu gently held Guang's little hand, and a soft and cool touch suddenly came from his palm. The latter stiffened for a moment, but did not refuse. Come with me. Um. At sunrise, the two arrived at the eastern coast of the Iron Kingdom. The huge red sun rises from the distant horizon, dyeing the sky and the earth orange. The sea surface rises and falls, as if a huge sea beast is about to break out of the water. The golden waves roll and hit the cliffs at your feet. The air is cool and moist. Do you want to take me to watch the sunrise? Wang glanced at Shen Yu, his fair face was covered with blush in the blink of an eye, and he gently bit his pink thin lips, feeling extremely shy at this moment. No, what I actually want to show you is. Shen Yu took a deep breath, took Guang's little hand, and jumped towards the sea, the starry sky under the sea. Shen Yu is like a cruising submarine, carrying light straight into the sea for 200 meters. He supports an invisible field with a diameter of 10 meters around his body, like a king, and all sea water is excluded from the field. Guang didn't feel any sea pressure, and his clothes didn't get any seawater on them. There was an ocean current outside the area, which led the two of them to dive deep at high speed. Shen Yu took her to a flat sea rock and pointed to the top of her head excitedly, that's it now. Guang was still immersed in the shock of Shen Yu's ability to control water. After hearing his words, he raised his head in hindsight. The magnificent, deep azure rushed towards her face, like the endless blue sky, and the sunlight filtered through the ripples on the sea surface, illuminating her eyes. Thousands of countless fish swim in groups in the sky, forming colorful pictures one after another. The light emitted by countless creatures reflects the beautiful brilliance in the orange-red sunlight. It's like huge fireworks blooming on the bottom of the sea, and like, the boundless starry sky. Now, this beautiful starry sky is reflected in her pupils. Guang turned his eyes slightly, and the sunlight filtered through the sea water, reflecting an intoxicating shimmer on Shen Yu's face. His fair skin is as delicate as jade, his slender eyebrows are slightly raised, like the outline of two distant mountains, his soft cheeks, warm pupils, and the boyish smile at the corner of his mouth are even brighter than the starry sky above his head. Be charming. Thank you, Shen Yu, I like it very much. Guang looked up at Shen Yu, the tenderness in his eyes almost melting him. Master Madara also said that you don't like romance. Shen Yu stared at Guang's eyes, as if he could see a more beautiful starry sky through these bright eyes, it seems that I understand you better. If you dare to tell anyone, you will be dead. She gently hugged Shen Yu's neck, stood on tiptoes, and slowly pressed her soft, fresh lips against his. In the complete silence, the deep and melodious whale call sounded in the empty seabed, and countless swimming fish circled and danced around the two of them. The light and the sea water are intertwined, quiet and profound, Time seems to stand still at this moment, only the dreamlike starlight is flickering slightly. Konoha village, early the next morning, Kagami was called into the laboratory by Tobarama. Mobilizing the ratio of the fusion agent is always a time-consuming and labor-intensive process, but we all know that once you lose your eyesight, the front line will immediately collapse. Tobarama said seriously, time is running out. So, what do you mean, teacher? Jing knew in his heart that since Tobarama asked him to come, he must have had an idea. The fusion of genetic fluids requires a large number of experiments to obtain data. Obviously, we cannot afford the consumption of time or resources. Tobarama looked at him and said slowly, I remember that your pupil technique can not only observe the future in front of you, but also consciously interfere with reality to change the possibilities of the future and choose the direction you decide, right? That's right. Jing nodded, thinking that he is indeed a teacher, he actually understands my eye skills so thoroughly. 
That's good, I'm going to use your ability to predict to avoid failed fusion ratios, thereby greatly reducing the number of tests. Tobarama explained, leading him to a new experimental instrument. This is a machine that can automatically adjust the solubility ratio. By inputting different numbers, it can produce a solution with corresponding solubility, and then control the fusion of the genetic fluid between the columns and the genetic fluid in the mirror. Under Tobarama's careful introduction, Kagami quickly learned to control this instrument. Next, open, Takamagahara. In order to avoid excessive wear and tear on your left eye, you need to make your thoughts move as fast as possible. Tobarama pointed to the glassware inside the glass, choose the right ratio, and the genetic fluid will be fused immediately. Whether it is success or failure, it will be in the future you can see. I see. Mirror opened his eyes wide, and his left eye Mangekio was spinning. His fingers were placed in front of the instrument. Although he hadn't moved yet, countless timelines were already showing in his eyes, like a complicated fork in the road. As the thoughts in his mind continue to change, the future in Takamagahara's field of vision is also constantly flashing. Countless pictures flash rapidly like movie reels, and each picture is one of the possibilities of the future. But without exception, they all failed. His face was calm, but his brows were slightly wrinkled and a slight cold sweat broke out on his forehead. It was obvious that he was going through a huge mental challenge. Tobarama stared intently, his eyes fixed on Jing's face, even he had to feel nervous. Time passed minute by minute, and finally, after two long minutes, Jing closed her eyelids tiredly and closed Sharingan. Tobarama noticed that his left eye was completely bloodshot and bright. I've seen the future 14,605 times. Jing opened his eyes and obviously didn't do anything, but he was panting. What's the result? Tobarama held his breath and clutched the armrest with his right hand. Jing stretched out a finger tremblingly, only one set of data is correct, and it's the only set. He carefully and solemnly entered a set of data and immediately pressed the button. Buzz. The instrument was running and adjusting rapidly until a drop of blue solution dripped into the glassware and merged with the genetic fluid of the mirror to turn dark purple. Immediately afterwards, a drop of golden solution flowed down the dropper, and fell into the vessel together with Tobarama's heart that almost jumped into his throat. Gududu. Wisps of gold threads spread and spread in the purple droplets. Finally, with a slight tremor, the droplets slowly turned into red gold, and finally became calm, without any more ripples. It, succeeded. Tobarama's face showed a long-lost excitement. He grabbed Mirror's hand, his pupils trembling, it's unimaginable. Mirror, you have accelerated our progress by decades. This set of data is so important. Without your pupil technique, even with sufficient resources, I don't know how long I would have to experiment alone. It is simply impossible to complete the experiment before the end of the war. You, completed it what a feat. Jing forced out a smile and said with tired eyes, so, can I inject the genetic fluid now? Almost. Tobarama quickly wrote down the last data entered by the mirror and hurriedly said, don't worry, the next task is to try to inject the genetic fluid into your cells. You can only inject after confirming that everything is normal. There is only one chance, you can't help it. We are careless. He immediately got into work, I have obtained your cell samples before. During this period, you can go and rest first. Konoha year 14, early January. The Kumogakur troops on the front line regrouped and launched a fierce attack on Mount Kikyo again. Uchiha Mirror immediately rushed back to the Kikyo mountain position and fought side by side with Konoha's companions. However, Kumogakur's attack this time was extremely fierce and had the momentum to destroy everything. It seemed that Kumogakur had mobilized all its elites and would not stop until they conquered Platakotan Mountain. Golden Horn fought like crazy in the battlefield, even though he was seriously injured, he furiously blasted the tailed beast Jade at Mount Kikyo. If Kagami hadn't withstood his pressure and used the Flying Thunder God to transfer his companions in time, the Konoha army would have been destroyed. There were probably heavy casualties. But even so, the Serutobi clan and the Inar, Deer, and Butterfly clans still lost many of their companions. Although they held their position, Kei Jing still blamed himself for this. On the Eastern Front, the troops led by Uzumaki Mito have been fighting on and off with second rakage for several weeks. Although they have temporarily contained the opponent, the situation is not optimistic.
The reason is that the enemy changed their tactics. The second Rakage and Silverhorn soldiers split into two groups. Rakage continued to sit in the surprise attack force position, while Silverhorn began guerrilla warfare, trying to bypass the intercepting army and take the Leaf Village directly. This forced Mito to disperse some of his troops. Fortunately, there were members of the Hyuga clan in the team, so that he could discover the enemy's situation in time before the opponent broke through the blockade. But Ginkaku is as cunning as a loach. When Mito is not around, he will use his unparalleled weapons to kill everyone. But when Mito comes, he will never be willing to fight. He will turn around and run away without even saying hello. He has no sense of martial ethics at all. This went back and forth several times, which made Mito mentally and physically exhausted and miserable, but he still had to brace himself to resist Reikage's attack. At the end of February, Tobarama finally completed the cell sample experiment. After countless analyzes and comparisons, it was found that all the cell tissues in the mirror can be perfectly integrated with Hashirama's genetic fluid. Yin style and Yang style have reached a perfect balance and are integrated. Next, he handed over everything in the village to the higher-ups, and regardless of the hard work, he stayed in the research institute all day and night, just to improve the success rate of the experiment and extract some genes from Hashirama again. Liquid. He repeatedly restored the previous experiments several times, and after confirming that they were correct, he notified the intelligence team and let Jing return to the village. Uchiha Mirror walked into the familiar laboratory, walked firmly, and walked straight to Tobarama. After so many days of high-intensity fighting, his vision was blurred beyond recognition. Even if Tobarama stood in front of him, he couldn't see Tobarama's face clearly. The light and shadow overlapped and became a blurry outline in his eyes. At the same time, his face was very pale. The long war had made him exhausted, and he had to pretend to be invincible in front of his companions on the front line. His body is getting weaker day by day, and just in the past two days, he has had symptoms of hemoptysis. If he hadn't relied on the spirit in his chest, he wouldn't have been able to hold on long ago. Tobarama first used intravenous infusion to inject the prepared Onagaro solution into Mirror's body. This process lasted for more than three hours. At first, Jing didn't feel anything special, but as time progressed, he felt that his whole body was filled with a very soft breath, flowing everywhere in his body. Under the influence of this force, he seemed to be unable to feel anything. I feel my own existence, as if I am one with nature. After the infusion was completed, he stood up dizzily. The chakra seemed to have turned into a quagmire, he could not lift up any strength, and his whole body was as soft as sugar. The experiment is complete, except your fate and power. Tobarama handed over the injection in his hand, his deep and deep voice full of solemnity. In the needle tube, a pool of pure golden solution was crystal clear, with a sacred shimmer under the light. Jing took a deep breath with a firm gaze. The moment he took the injection, the scenes of fighting on the battlefield, the faces of his companions, and the ferocious expressions of the enemy flashed through his mind one by one like a revolving lantern. At this moment, he had no idea other than his determination to defeat the enemy to the death. Without any hesitation, he turned the needle, pierced the artery in the neck, and pushed it in. Click. The injection fell to the ground and shattered into pieces of glass everywhere. The mirror lost control of his body, his knees gave way, and he knelt on the ground with a, plop, his hands weakly supporting the floor. Even if the glass penetrated deeply into his palms and red blood flowed on the floor, he was completely unmoved. Perception. In his body, the golden genetic fluid is turning into golden threads. As the blood flows throughout the body, it penetrates into his cells bit by bit, inch by inch, swallowing each other and merging with each other. The mirror opened its eyes wide, and the Mangekio Sharingan automatically opened, blooming with unparalleled scarlet light. He was panting violently, as if he wanted to suck all the air in the world into his lungs. His skin quickly turned red, like a shrimp being placed on a steamer. The veins were exposed and ravines were crisscrossed, and he felt like the blood all over his body was boiling and burning. Under the neutralization of Onomaro's solution, Hashirama's genetic fluid began to combine with his cells. The genes were reorganized over and over again, activating mysterious unknown sequences, and an astonishing transformation was taking place from the inside out. Tobarama stayed where he was, staring blankly at the changes in the mirror. 
A rare expression of surprise appeared on his usually calm face, and his heart was beating wildly. He knew very well that the success or failure at this moment would determine the fate of Konoha. Gradually, Jing's breathing eased, and his flushed skin faded. Hot steam came out of his pores, and the air became distorted visibly to the naked eye. At one moment, he underwent a radical change. The blood rushes through the blood vessels, like a river after the ice has thawed, and every cell breathes with all its strength like a spring bud. This is a completely different feeling than before. On the smooth floor, the originally bright red blood turned into red gold, and the wound on his palm slowly healed, releasing a faint heat. Endless vitality flowed through the body, high-pressure blood flow washed through the whole body, and incredible subtle changes penetrated into every cell. His weak heart beat like a war drum, squeezing out hot blood, and he couldn't help but let out a hoarse roar. Under Toborama's surprised gaze, Uchiha Mirror slowly stood up, her black hair was calm and the chakra as rich as wine even overflowed from her body. Jing opened his eyes, his vision became clear again, and his bright red eyes turned into a deep dark red. I'm done. Now that you have gathered the power of yin and yang in your body, you are no longer what you used to be. Toborama breathed a sigh of relief, and finally relaxed after having been tense for almost a winter. After walking out of the research institute, Jing looked at his fist, slowly clenched it, and couldn't help but punch out. A powerful wave of air suddenly burst out, and a dark red beast flew out upside down and smashed into the mountain. Uchiha Mirror slowly closed his fist, feeling the strong energy in his body, and couldn't help but reveal a smile. On the battlefront of Platakoden Mountain, on the smoke-filled battlefield, swords flashed, swords flashed, and blood flowed wildly. The ninjutsu ninjas who were fighting each other were shocked by this scene and couldn't help but stop. You brat. The rocks exploded, and the golden horn that had transformed into a half-tailed beast looked up to the sky and roared. The violent nine tails chakra was like a stormy sea, and the air was shaking. He dug his claws on the ground and rushed over again in disbelief. A red shadow came instantly to kill him. Jing easily understood his attack path, and while avoiding the claws, his fist hit Jin Zhao's chest like a cannonball, and the surging energy spread again. Golden Horn shot back at a faster speed. Kid, I don't believe you can protect everyone. The Golden Horn was furious, and he began to accumulate strength regardless of it. As the six long tails closed together, the air suddenly became heavy, and a dark purple ball quickly took shape. Tailed Beast Jade continuous shooting. He opened his big mouth, and the Tailed Beast Jade the size of a watermelon turned into deadly red light, shooting in all directions. The landing point of the trajectory was exactly in the direction of each family and team in Konoha. However, Jing did not rush to him to stop him as usual, nor did he use the Flying Thunder God to escape with his companions. He still stood where he was, clasping his palms together. Now, he not only inherited Hashirama's will of fire, but also inherited his power. Wood-style flower deep forest creation. The ground was suddenly torn apart in the violent earthquake, and countless huge vines sprung up like bamboo shoots after a rain, turning into a sea of rolling trees that spread rapidly, with fresh green air spreading across thousands of feet. The tailed beast jade released in the form of a half-tailed beast was immediately not enough. Rays of red light crashed into the forest, like a mud cow entering the sea. Amidst the sound of trees breaking, it only advanced a few dozen meters before being wiped out by the power of wood style. This was not over yet, as several huge flowers were pulled out from the deep forest, the thick yellow pollen dispersed in the wind, filling the battlefield in an instant. Under Mirror's deliberate control, the pollen did not float into the Konoha camp, but instead diffused into the Kumogakur camp. At this time, both Jonan and Chunin fell down like wheat, unconscious. Wood-style tree bound eternal burial. The mirror hand seals changed, waves of waves appeared in the sea of trees, and countless giant vines rolled past, completely swallowing and burying all the unconscious cloud ninjas. Let's retreat. Seeing that his methods were useless, Jin Zhao immediately retreated, covering the Kumo ninja who were not yet in crisis as they retreated from their position. It was Konoha's 14th year, a hot May, and the first ninja world war was in full swing. The water and soil war, the bloody battle between Karigakur village and Iwagakur village, is going to blow your brains out. The Karigakur village became ferocious, almost all of them came out, and invaded from the southern part of the earth country through the bird country. 
The Iwagakar village was not to be outdone, and actually let the tailed beasts run rampant on the battlefield. All suffered heavy losses. The fire and thunder war really echoed the saying, thunder from the sky stirs fire from the ground, and it is out of control. The two sides devoted almost all their troops to the two fronts in the northeast, and the losses to each other were inestimable. On the northern front, since Uchiha Mirror joined the battlefield with a new attitude, the situation has become completely one-sided. The Golden Horn was defeated by the power of Mangekio Sharingan and Wood Style, and was retreating steadily. The Konoha Vanguard Army not only regained some of its positions, but was even able to send some troops to support the Eastern Front and establish a blockade, which greatly relieved the pressure on Uzumaki Mito. Over the course of several months, Kagami gradually adapted to the new power in his body, and became more and more comfortable with the power of wood style. Under his heroic fighting, the overall morale of the Konoha troops greatly increased, driving Kumogakar's invading troops to north. Just when they were working hard to expel Yun Ninja completely, Union Village finally released their trump card. When the Konoha troops broke through Kumogakar's blockade and rushed into the enemy's position, what they faced was not the Kumo Ninja who were out of ammunition and food and stubbornly resisting, but, two behemoths. A giant cat demon whose whole body is covered with blue chakra flames, and whose mere breath creates billowing heat waves. A tall and majestic monster with two horns on its head, but with eight tentacles twisting like an octopus from the waist down. Quickly retreat. It's a tailed beast. Not good. Ah ah ah. These crazy people in Union Village. The Konoha troops suddenly lost their souls. Two giant beasts like mountains stood in front of everyone. The thick and solid chakra seemed to be facing the abyss, containing pure violence. It was completely different from the tailed beast chakra released by the golden horn previously. Don't. Facing a monster of this level is simply seeking death. However, this is war, and the tailed beasts will not give them a chance to escape. After all, their purpose is to kill. The second tail was the first to open his mouth wide, and wisps of heat gathered instantly, and a huge fireball shot out of the air and blasted towards the Konoha troops. Facing the fireball as huge as a hill, everyone didn't even think about resisting it and immediately dispersed. A dazzling golden light lit up in the crowd, and then a huge bone hand suddenly pressed forward, and the fireball suddenly paused, sending out billowing heat waves. Mirror's body is covered with a golden skeleton, like a god of war from the sky. A clear and majestic voice reaches everyone's ears, the whole army listens to the order and retreats to the position immediately. I will hold them back. As if in response to his leader-like majesty, the golden light burst out. His skeleton grew out of thin air, and finally turned into a huge half-skeleton. Two bone hands tore it apart, tearing the fireball apart and turning it into curling flames. Dissipate. No one dares to neglect, and the monsters should be left to the monsters to deal with. They are very self-aware. Uchiha Jing alone accounts for 80% of the achievements of the frontline troops. Without this commander, they may not even be able to defend Mount Kikyo. Therefore, as long as they still stand here, they will execute every order of Jing without hesitation. Let them rush, and they will fight tooth and nail. Let them run, and they will never look back. How could Erwei sit back and watch his prey escape? He kicked the ground with his hind paws and jumped directly over the half-length skeleton in front of him, showing a lightness that was completely inconsistent with its huge size. Fire Rat Jade. A bright blue light flashed, and it fired a rat-shaped flame from its mouth. In the blink of an eye, it dispersed countless blue flame-tracking bullets, which seemed to be like a fishing net and flew towards the crowd. Kagami didn't look back, because eight tails also took the opportunity to run over. Suzano raised his bone arm, clapped his four huge palms together, and started wrestling. Kaoru stood among the junior Susanas, clasped his hands together, slammed them on the ground, and shouted, Wood style super tree wall barrier. The earth and rocks were loosened, and countless huge vines suddenly appeared a few hundred meters behind. They grew rapidly, entwined with each other, and instantly turned into a hard wooden wall hundreds of meters long. All the fire rat jades were blocked by the wooden wall, turning into blue flames that burned and spread, but not a single fireball could break through the blockade. The Konoha troops also took advantage of this time to retreat quickly, away from the battlefield. 
Berwei slowly turned back, staring at the Uchiha mirror behind him with a pair of huge vertical pupils, and blew out two twisted streams of hot breath. The hundred-meter-high wooden wall changed the landscape and completely separated the battlefield. It was like a coliseum in the barbaric era, with only the mirror and two violent beasts left. Click, click. There was an overwhelming sound of shattering from the bone hand, and the mirror immediately erupted into chakra. The golden light turned into substantial flesh and blood and spread and grew. Pieces of armor came forward, and he upgraded Suzano to the third level in one breath. At this time, there was a whistling wind behind him, and the sharp claws of the second tail slapped hard. Jing immediately turned around and stretched out his palm, wood-style great forest technique. Countless vines surged out from the entire arm, and the head was as sharp as a spear, protruding directly from the inside of Suzano, wrapping and binding the two tails' cat claws. Berwei was immediately in pain and subconsciously tried to break free with brute strength. However, those woody tentacles were not only very strong, they could even continue to grow. It was caught off guard and half of its body was entangled in trees. Wood style, Jing quickly retracted his right hand and formed a seal with both hands at the same time, thorn killing technique. Root knots bulged on the surface of the wooden vine, and then expanded rapidly. Thick wooden pillars pushed out from it one after another, tightly binding Erwei's body like a cage. At the same time, Suzano made a move with one hand, golden light condensed into shape, and a huge scythe slashed down horizontally. Eight tails immediately retreated, and even a small section of its tentacles was cut off because it could not avoid it. Eight tails was very angry. It hammered the ground like crazy and threw broken rocks at Suzano. While the mirror was swinging its scythe to break the rocks, it surrounded all its tentacles into a ball with countless suckers, weird and penetrating. Tailed Beast 8 Volumes. It rotated its body violently, and the earth trembled, forming a huge storm in an instant. Layers of air waves rippled out, leveling the earth inch by inch. Under the violent impact, the mirror decisively dispersed Suzano, and at the same time, the left eye Mangekio spun around, letting the storm sweep in. With the help of eight tails, the second tail also took the opportunity to break free. This wood style is simply too restrained for the tailed beast. The thick smoke slowly dissipated, revealing a bare battlefield with all the dense forests and wooden walls gone. Eight tails and two tails turned their heads and stared in one direction cautiously. A man walked out there. Uchiha mirror covered his sore left eye and slowly raised his eyes. Unscathed. Buzz. The two-tailed beasts didn't hesitate, and raised their heads one after another. Their long tails gathered to their mouths like dough, and the deep and huge chakra slowly condensed. They decisively used their trump card. This was not the kind of semi-finished product that Golden Horn had displayed before. It was a heavy sphere with a dark color and the size of an izakaya. The two-tailed beast jade suddenly shrank, and were immediately swallowed into the mouths of two tails and eight tails, and suddenly burst out of the air. This direction is not only the direction of Uchiha mirror, but also the direction of Konoha troops escape. I have no choice but to try that trick. Jing slowly exhaled, slapped his palms together, and said with a ferocious face, wood-style wooden dragon's technique. The ground shook violently, and two huge wooden dragons broke out of the ground, circled upwards, opened their dragon mouths, and accurately caught the two-tailed beast jade. But after only holding on for a second, the faucet suddenly exploded. Fortunately, Jing had accumulated enough energy before. With the blessing of this energy, two more wooden dragons rose up from behind and bit the tailed beast jade in time. You must not, let you, hurt your companions. Ah, 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 ah. In the mirror's powerful roar, four wooden dragons tore through the earth in succession, swirling around and biting the tailed beast jade, finally controlling their momentum. He changed his hand seals, sparing no effort to inject the kinetic energy he had absorbed into the wooden dragon, and actually counterattacked the two-tailed beast jade. A shocking explosion resounded throughout the world, and the storm once again swept across the battlefield. On a cliff in the distance, Shen Yu stood with his hands behind his back, looking at the figure fighting the two-tailed beasts from a distance, and smiled slightly. Work harder, brother, this level of adaptation is not enough. I can't wait to close the net. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.